uh, 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 streaming soon thing because we're buying. Oh, schedule. I. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize you were gonna do that. Let me. Uh. Let me. Uh. Well, I don't have gameplay open. Fuck. Uh. Technical you know, difficulties. Let me, just, <laughs> let me just uh do that. Okay, so now my stream can hear you, but we're still on the settings screen. Uh, hello, everybody. We're setting up. How's it going? Fucking bitch. Fucking just don't know what fucking that is. Uh, Sorry if you're hearing clickety clickety clack. I'm, I need to tweet it out. That's there, and boom. All right, so you able to uh, join well? Uh, give me a sec. Mm -hmm. We post. Jesus, what the fuck happened to this workshop? Oh God, what's that? Doesn't sound good. It does not. <laughs> Everything is covered in sh. And shit, and then painted. I kid you not, that's what it looks like. Oh, that's. This sounds fun to clean. <laughs> yeah. Four, seven. Shouldn't. Okay, I still have sound on. Say the code out loud. Yeah, yeah do not. <laughs> hey, everyone, the code okay. is 69420. <laughs> Very much true. <laughs> Wait, I do not own Santa's workshop add on, so cannot join. What? It's a free thing. Did you? Oh, uh, because I might. Do I have given... to download it? Uh, check, cause uh. What? Where would it be? I don't know. Cause it said free when I looked the at it. Yeah, the specials. Yeah, uh... specials. That's where it was. Yeah. How special. Uh, gonna have to go to fucking Xbox app. Uh, it has to update. Not that it has to update. I have to actually go grab it from the uh, Xbox app if that's the case, because I'm using the Xbox app. Gotcha. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Oh, I have Tomb Raider. That was apparently free. Yeah. I think uh, a Harry Potter one was also free. So oh, and Midgar. For... Oh, yeah. I, I totally forgot about that. That looks interesting. I think it's like from a Final Fantasy thing. Yeah, that's what I was looking like. Yeah. Was... Okay, install that. Please do it quickly, computer. Downloading. 0% view progress. 2% view progress. 4%. I'm guessing this will take like a solid 3 minutes. Yeah, also, I love how there's like moonlight gravity in the Santa's workshop. Oh, there is? <laughs> Yeah, okay. The fuck, why? I don't know. I'm able to jump really far. Well, not super far across the room, but like farther than I would on other maps. 
it's, so maybe it's not exact like moon like gravity, but it's like the gravity is way different than it probably should be. Oh wow, someone I smeared gotcha. nice and paint on top of a shit wall. Nice. Damn. You haven't started cleaning without me, have you? Uh, no, I haven't even. It's zero percent cleaned. Okay, good. I just been running around. Checking, seeing the sights. Yeah. Trust me, when you see this, you'll understand why I said this looks place looks disgusting. Like it's been covered in shit and paint. You'll understand. Okay. I'm past sixty percent on the download. Yeah, good. Cause I was gonna be really pissed if they didn't give the Christmas thing for free, like only on a computer and not for Xbox. <laughs> well, again, that's the thing. I am on the computer. Oh, oh yeah, Xbox computer. Uh, I forgot the Xbox app on the computer. Yeah, I meant yeah, like X, uh, Christmas for free on Steam. I always. Yeah. I'm confused that Xbox is also on a computer. <laughs> it's fucking confusing. Yeah. Your computer is now on Xbox. How do you feel? <laughs> I mean, the first Xbox, like the very first one, was literally just like a Windows computer housed in a different case, basically. Yeah. And optimized for gaming. Yeah, I know, because I actually had one. He, I don't have it. Literally, so... oh, what? Yeah, blue screen. No red ring, or something oh, like red. the red ring. So I don't think the red ring was then at that time, but it ha it was the same problem as red ring. I see. That's really weird. Basically, it it, it would refuse to do anything. <laughs> I see. Okay, so let me try joining again. Okay, so it's fully downloaded. Yeah. All right. I might have to restart the game for it to recognize. Probably. Oh, no, it's loading. It's loading? Oh. Hey! What the f This is why I said the place is covered in shit and paint. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? <laughs> this is Santa's workshop. <laughs> Which of the... Okay, I need to get reacquainted with the controls. Yeah. I should probably host the great Dr. Bright. Fancy. Uh, let's see. I need to touch uh, options. And feel the view slightly <laughs> up. Maybe we'll jump what over fuck? you. Yeah, you can see how high I can jump, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I see. Okay, out of my tablet. This is... Gods, you turn so slow. Oh, you don't toggle? Brent, that's gotta change. But, yeah, if you're ready to start cleaning... Yeah, just let me see if I can switch uh, Sprint to Toggle. Gotcha. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be sprinting much, but I prefer to actually fucking I want to know not what have happened. to constantly click it down. I want to know what happened to the Santa's Workshop, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> what the fuck does Dirt Details do? I think that's everything that you're seeing right now, like more detailed dirt or whatnot. And my will just toggle. It doesn't look like it gives me the option to turn rent to toggle. Damn. That's what the what the I think I just turned a reindeer. Really? Do I have my audio good? Yeah, I heard a brrrr. On your end? Yeah, I, I, I had my volume turned down a bit too much. Ah. Uh, 
Fucking hell. How much money does the... This place only gives you 60 bucks if you win it, or... I must have been misunderstanding that. Yeah, oh, wait, no, that's how much money I have. What happened? Oh, what the... Game session was closed by host. Oh, it's probably because we weren't cleaning. You're a fool. <laughs> Resume job. Let's see if... Okay. Uh, let's see if you can join back using the same code. Okay, I guess I, uh... Um, all right, hold I on. Need to just I'm back, back in. The mission. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was Christmas Eve Eve a night. We look forward to to for one special reason. I accidentally cleaned a little bit, and French Bob started talking. That's the name uh -oh. of the person who's paying us, French Bob. Okay, it's a different. It's a different code. It's the night that our inventor over Nevada. Oh, hold on. Okay. It is. Okay, let me do something real quick. Oh, oh this is minute. an absolute shit show. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right. So, inventor uh, Ever Nida pitches next year's star, uh, star toy to Santa. However, this year Ivor uh, was told to carry them through. Oh God, damn it! He spoke too fast. <laughs> you hear? Yeah. Uh, I guess we each take different areas to clean, because this is going to take a bit. How much? Oh, this will pay for five. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn that down a bit. That's much better. Oh my gosh, yeah, this... You okay? <laughs> my ears. <laughs> is it me? Yes. <laughs> Turn down water volume. I I just turned the whole fucking volume down, and I'll. That's much better. I wish we had like a proper map to look at. Yeah. Hey Hatchet, can you stand still for a moment? Cause I want to see if they patched it or not. Nope, they didn't. <laughs> I can push you with the water. Water fight. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny. We can push each other still. Hey, what the fuck is this thing? I don't know. We gotta clean it to find out what we got in here. Prime Vista Pro Soap Nozzle. Oh, that's... Oh, that soap can help clean, um... Stuff at the... That is takes a while to clean off, like really hard grime. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Hatchet! I found Hatchet. I found your door, and I found my door. <laughs> hey. Just come Please back man. where we spawn. <laughs> See, here's your big door here, here's mine. You calling me fat? No, I'm saying because I'm short. I think you're calling me fat. <laughs> Alright, you're fat then. Oh, I cleaned it. Shit. We got money. Oh, by the way, I have $2,000. How much do you have? 60. <laughs> <laughs> well, now 60... Uh, sixty-two twenty-five. Oh, sweet! So the money I earn also goes to you. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, 
buttons. Jesus fucking Christ. How are you cleaning everything so fast? Uh oh my gosh, do not hit tab. Do, well, I don't have tab. I'm using a controller. Oh yeah, when I use tab, I see everything oh, you mean dirt. and everything <laughs> it's flashes. Literally. And okay, that's an epilepsy warning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I accidentally did that when I was trying to see. Oh, yeah. Um, That's because I'm using a Prime Vista Pro. Prime Vista Pro? <laughs> Prime Vista Pro Extra Long Extension. <laughs> oh, as in why you're cleaning so fast. Oh my gosh, I can almost reach T- I can reach over here to you. <laughs> Look, I can- Jesus Christ! I can- Yeah, that, 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 The post box is almost done. Where's... Oh, it's dirt there. Yes, post box is done. Oh, I don't have any cleaner. Every single... Wait, so every single nutcracker... Has, like, individual parts. Oh my gosh, from the door, I can reach to where you are. See, look at this. Jesus. Clean your own shit. <laughs> uh, I, I am going... I am... Actually, you know what? That might be an interesting thing. You focus on cleaning, like, the ceiling, because you can reach it better, probably. And I'll focus on cleaning things that require more detail, because I have barely any tools. Well, you can probably easily get this ceiling, so never mind. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, and I just realized, give me a sec. Uh, single viewer in my stream, uh, is, is, is the, is the audio good? Hey, Bright, talk real quick. Penis. Yeah, so you are louder. Than the sounds. Alright. I think it's alright. Well, you know we have ladders, right? Wait, what? Yeah, you don't know what. Yeah, right here. If you look at it. Oh. Yeah, and look, you'll see everything in blue where you can place them. Oh, fancy. So, yeah, I technically don't have to work on the ceiling. You can also do it too. Fancy. Oh, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> <laughs> I think there was like a paintball fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, the further we go, someone will speak to us, which is the yeah. person who did it. And uh, they sometimes say really funny shit. Okay. Dirt check. Ah, 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 my eyes. <laughs> you, you did a dirt check, didn't you? Yes. I must clean every last inch. How the fuck am I supposed to clean that? Clean what? There's like a little bit of dirt on the back side of this lantern. Post pipe cleaned? What the fuck? 
I accidentally oh, cleaned it trying to show you off. <laughs> yeah, you cleaned the post pipe behind it. Oh wait, maybe it's this. Let's see, what's the aiming mode? is kind of hard to the manual aiming mode is kind of hard to manage for. Uh, I kind of wish we could have done the Spongebob one because that would have been really funny to do. E. Let me try I can basically like bounce back and forth between my mic between my m mouse and keyboard and controller, but... So, if we do do the Midgar thing, uh, the one that oh. you need to do, uh, we have to go to yours, because I think I almost finished it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can't you just restart it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, it was dirt on the top that I need to clean? Are you fucking kidding me? They don't joke in this place, Hatchet. You have no right to speak. I know, I'm a fucking joke. I will make this nutcracker squeaky clean. I will smash the nutcracker. Uh, okay. In the kinky way. Please silence yourself. <laughs> no. Let's see, what do these attachments do? Improve the range while still being able to be used quite close to surf. The extra long, long extension, short extension, dubby gun. That's what I'm using right now. Uh, the long. Jesus. Right here. I'm assuming that was bookworm. Yeah, hi book. Hello book. I'm guessing Book did Scare Bright. Yeah. Oh, okay. Book, if you're not in my stream already, I'd appreciate it if you could uh, go over there and check to see if the audio levels are good. I already got that. Okay, never mind. I was. I was spraying this jack and I, and I didn't pay attention to the bar, so I didn't realize it was already clean, so I was just spraying a clean jacket. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, but we, yeah, so we, uh, but to continue on the SpongeBob thing, we have, absolutely have to do it at some point. Yeah, I'll just have to actually spend money. There's the nutcracker staff, so I still have some dirt on the staff. Yeah. I'll turn the sound down a bit more. Yeah! I got us half a- I got us two quarters by cleaning a staff. Nice. This is a very bizarre game. It's... When you think about it. Yeah. Like... 
like this is an unbelievably insufferable intolerable job in reality but oh, for yeah. some reason it's super popular to simulate this job in a video game format Yes, I got it. I, I I glitched myself on top of the lamp on attached to the wall just to get enough dirt on top of it off. How do you sounds good? Okay, thanks, book. Am I good on my end? I have no idea. I don't pay that much attention. Sometimes. We are professional streamers. As well as Santa's home cleaners. We really suck at our jobs we better get paid overtime or i'm going to uh throw a dime uh at rudolph's no <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh shut sh yes let's get up here should i show a book on the door joke i made earlier sure all right, so bookworm, you see how this this big door right here, this this will be used for hatchet. This is my door. <laughs> and they're immediately laughing. Uh. Yeah. Also, Bookworm, I did nothing with Throne recently. Not Cracker Hat. Or, as well as Chat, anyone else watching, I did nothing with my Throne. When I, I was on break at work, because we were, literally had three hours of nothing to do, and I was bored. That sounds scary. Well, it's better than dying. I mean, true. <laughs> Given your fucking workplace. That's always fun. Getting paid for doing nothing. <laughs> and now I hop on over to Bright's chat. We. Okay. At first, when I played this, to be brutally honest, I didn't think I was going to get into it. But for some reason, my mind just wants me to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those really odd things, like I said. Yeah. Like, this job would be awful. I, I remember... Um, uh, one topic talking about how, like... He cannot get into playing or watching people play this game because he actually did power washing at one point in his life, and it just makes him think of a terrible job. Yeah. It's like... For people who don't do the job, apparently this is incredibly fun. Also, Bookworm said, OMG, I typed that in Hatch's chat a little a bit ago. I'll try to be in two ch chats eventually. Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't notice it when you typed it. <laughs> Not the only one who doesn't read chat. <laughs> oh, you see, that's the thing. I told, Bro I told Book to fucking hold my feet to the fire if I ever don't read chat. Because I intend to be a better streamer than you. No offense. Except for maybe a little. Wow. Okay, uh, so, uh, Bookworm, as you can see, there's, there's nothing wrong with Santa's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so nice from this angle. Yeah, if you just, like, if you slowly turn around... <laughs> yeah, I actually stole that joke from me. <laughs> oh. So yeah. that's why it was 
<laughs> yeah, I recently started watching Funny. Thanos playing this game. Because, uh, let's just say nothing they uh, say in that video we can say here. Oh, rip. <laughs> as well as... Not that I care much. As well as Nogla showing how to make a, a perfect circle and window. Huh. You want to know how he did it? How he was actually taught how to do it by a teacher? Ow. Draw the German party symbol. <laughs> Draw the rest. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on in Ireland? <laughs> That's why it said we can't do say or do anything they did in the video. Cause holy shit. So oh god, yes. Baby. It says book. So wait, does that mean that just throughout the video you'll occasionally see Nogla drawing us? <laughs> yeah, there the, he did it several times. There's literally a wall of several circles in some windows. Oh no. I mean, oh no. When he did the window thing, it it did go into a perfect window, but it was just so bad. Yeah. I mean, it was really funny, but we can't do it. I mean, yeah. I am, like, just hyper fixated on cleaning this fucking balcony. That is my one job right now. Yeah, yeah that's the one thing that I love about, about the Thanos crew. They, they say and do some of the most offensive shit and get away with it. I think the better thing to note is that it's less that... Uh, like, they get away with it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, muting real quick. Okay. And Hatchet doesn't get to go to the full explanation because they just died. So I'm going to need to get an extension. There we go. Or you say nothing. You say nothing, bookworm. Oh, it's F. That's right. F. Much better. Yeah, I finally got that. I didn't even notice my phone was in pocket. Patch is okay. 
I am back. Oh, hey, welcome back. I did nothing. What did you do? Don't worry about it. Gameplay. I, I guess it's... Yep, yep, yep. What? I guessed it. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Should have expected me to do it at some point. I did expect you to do it. Uh, yeah, my dad came down the stairs. Need help grabbing a couple cats. Uh. Oh, I forgot to update the Discord about the cat I talked about in support. Oh. They all right? Nah, they didn't last the night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. It wasn't our cat, it was just a stray, but... At least we gave them a more comfortable place to pass. Because mm -hmm. there's really nothing else we could do. Yeah. Like, seeing to care for her would have taken a lot more money than we have. Mm -hmm. Especially since... I'm fucking uninsured. My dad's uninsured. So we have fucking medical bills to pay. It's, oh, what a wonderful system we have in the States. Uh. This is an oddly satisfying game. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's going to take us much uh, 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 take us long to finish this. I we mean... Already at 15%. Oh, dang, we are. Huh. Yeah. It's cause mainly because some of these small ones also bump it up a percentage sometimes. Uh, so yeah, it's some of the small objects count a lot. I think the biggest thing is going to be the floors and the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm already feeling that just focusing entirely on the fucking balcony. I'm, I'm making it so our Christmas presents don't look like they're covered in dog shit. You really gotta wonder what the fuck led to this happening. Oh my gosh. Speaking of dog shit. I don't like... I did, I, no, it's actually pretty funny. For Christmas, some... Oh, <laughs> oh hi. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> hey, Jerry. As soon as I pop in, I hear... Speaking of dogs, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's awful there timing. There you go, I'll, I'll let you be able to see my screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, I need to take up book bookworm chat. Anyways. Oh. Take up bookworm chat? Well, bookworm is the only one communicating in my chat at the moment. <laughs> oh, okay, bookworm, okay. I got you. Yeah, yeah um, alright, so speaking of dog shit, uh, <laughs> someone for Christmas gave me a, a calendar for 2024 except every month you know where they have a picture at the top or whatever yeah it's a picture of a dog taking a shit <laughs> okay I would 100% own that <laughs> I think I, they make one is... for every year by the way <laughs> so that is one of the stupidest <laughs> gifts imaginable I'm going to get that for, like, all of my friends at some point. <laughs> yeah. Please, like, God. IRL friends. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it, is, it is so I would funny. expect that from Bright, not, but not you. Yeah. I mean, we Hatch and me kind of think the same sometimes. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. I feel like I'm basically just a less chaotic and 
bizarrely fixated on genitalia version of you <laughs> at times. Uh, you say bizarrely, but you're both, but she's fixated too to the degree. Hey, Hatchet. Despite being asexual. Hatchet, no. The real question, uh, the real uh, definition of this, you're the uncancelable version of me. I'm the cancelable version. <laughs> you say that, but I'm the one who gets into the most political conversations. I'm just saying that because of you know some what? clips. You know what? Hatchet is the political version with more self-control. <laughs> probably. That's probably a decent way to put it. I like burning down like, an orphanage. Like, I tend to talk about some really controversial uh, political topics because they're just oh. a, a little worm in my brain. Thanks, Bookworm, for telling me that. God damn it. What did Book do? That's there it twitch didn't save my twitch category so it was set to the christmas horror game from yesterday <laughs> I mean, not two days ago, actually yeah i am so i mean mad this is pretty i mean this funny. this is pretty horrific <laughs> yeah just in a different way but yeah go ahead yeah i'm i'm still mad about yesterday not uh being able to play christmas map Minecraft uh, yeah map. yeah I was so annoyed. But, um, oh, speaking of Christmas maps, Hatchet, for Thursday, because I can stream really long, like, no limit, because I have nothing to do okay. Friday. Um, okay. Do you want to do a class stream of Power Wash or the new Jurassic World Minecraft map they uploaded in Minecraft Marketplace? Because I got it. Guess which one I'd be more interested in. The Minecraft map? Yes. <laughs> okay. Dinosaurs. There you go. We can do the dinosaur. I'd be more interested in the dinosaurs. That's what he chose. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> dinosaurs. But yeah, I, I, I thought I would tell you that because I knew you would be excited for that. I mean, I did tell you at, at one point I was going to get it. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta keep in mind it's it's less that I'm excited and more that I'm like, that's that's like the thing that I'd be less, or I'd be more interested in doing. I can't say I'm particularly excited about it just because my emotions feel very numb right now. That's fair. But yeah, like, a lot of my Twitter conversations go into, uh. Very frequently misunderstood uh, mental disorders. If you ever need help with schizophrenia, I've had multiple family members with it. I can help. Oh, no, I, mean, I, I'm I really... I'm about it, not like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you skin. Oh, God. If you have probably yeah. psychotic tendencies, I can give you a knife to help you. Right. And thanks no. to my mom, mom, who my sister described as being, as like a rock being a better parent than her. I also know about the, it's, her existence is literally the only reason I know about that psychiatrist didn't tell those with schizophrenia that it was untested before giving it to them. They said it was totally tested, proven, totally safe and awesome and such a good treatment and then it wasn't uh, yeah and <laughs> I, mind you i've been to multiple psychology classes none of the fucking books mention it being like that they never told the people they just totally fucking skip over that shit oh yeah jerry that's an unfortunate one question i want to ask you when you're in psychology did they ever talk about the dark room experiment yes Oh, they did. Okay. <laughs> they talk a lot about a, a lot. They talk about a lot of shit that would not be legal now. <laughs> I know. I went through it. Oh. I told that before, Jerry. What's that? Oh, I don't yeah. remember that. Oh, one. Not legal. Oh. oh, I guess I can retell it. But basically, uh, it was during a time where I was still having my bad episodes when i was in dark uh -huh. so they wanted to actually test it so they kept putting me different 
uh, longer periods of time in the dark. Wait, wasn't that that psychiatrist that was breaking the law and he got arrested? Yeah. Yeah, this does not surprise me. The person who was breaking the law broke the law. Who knew? (laughs) Jesus, fuck. Are are you okay? Physically and sexually, yes. Mentally, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, I meant mentally, you little kid. (laughs) Who needs to be okay when you can be Demi? (laughs) Everyone was hard at work, says French Bob. <laughs> I... Oh, I'm not even seeing that. Oh, I see it, so I can read it. Bangs was testing the durability of their rocket ships on the ceiling while Mullet was f- uh, fine tuning the high notes of their xylophones. Bang was testing the, the durability of their rocket. <laughs> Across the way, High Top Fade had made some planes with precision engineering, whilst Pompadour had made some dolls that probably needed more work, really. Oh. I can't get over Bang making rockets, because there's so many jokes you can make with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's very obviously why they gave that job to the elf named Bang. <laughs> yeah. Now the hard part. What do I decide to put in each chat? Oh yeah, bo- books in both chats now. Actually, okay, says Buck. Yes. Yeah, what does that even actually mean? It means I'm ready for sex. No, you're not your right sex! You <laughs> little shit! Now, technically, now, 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 asexual people can be ready for sex at times. Yes, but she has but we, so... one of the ones that aren't red, that don't want the sex. Hey, he uh, it. But yeah, no, the, the disorders I tend to end up getting into a lot of very heated discussions about tend to be paraphilias. And that's all I will say. Uh... Yeah, there's a sh- I, I only know about things my family has had. Hey, Hatchet, which yeah. gift is yours? Uh. Uh. Why are you standing on Jerry's gift? That's kind of rude. Oh, shit. This is, this is my gift. I may have sent this one to the wrong person. Because what's inside here is a movie huge. <laughs> I was going to make the joke that that one was for you, and then you said it was Cheery's. Well, I think Hatchet went for the less predictable approach. Yeah. I like how Hatch Let me see if I can do something. <laughs> I don't know why you're bunk me bookworm. People can buy Moby Huges. I mean, there was one person who commented saying they bought it as a cat scratching post. You know what? That's valid. You buy it and then wrap it in like carpet. It'd be perfect for cats. But it needs, like, carpet or something else scratchy. Otherwise, cats would deem it boring and stupid. Is that true, Hatchet? What? I mean, you're the cat master. You have a bunch of cats. I'm not paying much attention. What are we talking about? I was saying cats would generally not be interested in scratching a giant plastic dick. They'd want something to wrap around it, something with a texture they'd want to rip apart. So... Like a fabric or a wood or paper. Well, yeah. That's after the case, but um, you know what? I think I'll just own up to it now because I fucked up. Hey, Bright, come over here.
So uh, I was trying to write fuck bright in this gunk for you to find later, <laughs> but I messed up and made an A. So your new name is Ba. Hope you like it. <laughs> fuck Ba. Watch someone actually named Ba <laughs> show up. It could be a key preference. Wait, that sounds bad. Pretend I never said that. Oh. Wait, what'd you say? I said you oh. could you could consider it a key preference, and then I realized how bad that would sound. Oh. Jerry, when you said the sheep reference thing, uh, it made me remember that cartoon that's uh, very dark. Bright, I'm part Scottish. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'd get caught on. I caught on, I just really don't care. <laughs> and right... And right after I was mentioning that I have conversations about paraphilias. You know, that's okay. <laughs> mm. I am part of so many things, my existence is basically a giant joke. Yeah, so, uh, it's not fully set up yet, but, um, once I get it working for these, uh, power wash streams, I'll have, uh, an AI bot, uh, read us horror stories during these streams it's not working right now though okay i cleaned a wall and the wall is good i just oh no that was you cleaning something oh god, my god book what did book do book says do scottish people actually fuck <laughs> sheep is that a thing we're talking about <laughs> uh, okay, so that is the reference, but it's like an in joke, like among I think primarily, uh, Englanders, that people, uh, up in Scotland, do that. At least yeah, that's I'm my so understanding of it. No, nobody in my family that is. Scottish anything has ever done anything weird to a sheep. <laughs> that's that is that's like that's the thing. We don't need that clarification, but it's very <laughs> funny that you made it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's probably sheep farmers in my family somewhere, but none of them have done that to a sheep that I have heard of. I'm pretty sure I would have heard of that in a family as big as my mom. Then again, that might be the sort of story that people don't want to pass down. Yeah, see? And she, my mom, for reference, has like 50-something cousins. Jesus Christ, what the... Wow. Someone was really getting around. Well, just remember, my, uh... My mom's dad, he... His family is from the hills. Oh. No, I think I I think I fully understand now. What like, you know, we've got all these jokes about Jiri, you know, like how gay is Jiri and the and the massive collection of Huns. It all makes sense now. Jiri is a descendant of Casanova. What? And Jiri and Jiri just fucking is the gay Casanova. That is that is yes. my Wait, that is my fan Casanova theory. French though, I'm not part French yet. I, I mean, mean? <laughs> it's time to it's time to go to your forced Frenchization therapy, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. First up, get rid of the concept of vowels because they're meaningless in France. I still find I'm part it... Spanish. I'm never giving up the vowels. Here, here's the one thing that's actually I still find funny. Speaking of what, what we're related to, um, 23andMe when I gave it, you know, to do the testing to see what I am and whatnot, it still thinks I'm not Italian, <laughs> even though I have proof of me being Italian. Well, just so you know, Bright, 
It's not a hundred percent accurate. There have been uh, there's been at least one time where identical twins took the test together and they had different genetic results. And I mean perfectly identical, not mostly identical. So, so it's mostly accurate, not a hundred percent accurate, right. mostly. However, it did. What's this? Oh. Things ten reality tends to be more nuanced than this test will immediately tell you literally everything about yourself. Yeah. However, it 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 did say I was uh around eighty five percent Irish. Damn. Also, if you're part Native American, you'll need to find a specific test that will go specifically for Native Americans. Because apparently most basically group all of them together. Yeah, yeah I've heard that too. Yay, colonialism. But, uh, oh yeah, th those people exist too. Oh yeah. Not more than that. Those people exist and are distinct groups. It's not just one amalgamized ball of people. Uh... I want to take my black shoes and shove them up their asses. <laughs> yeah. Even with one leg fucked up and the other one just naturally fucked up since birth, I can still stampede up their ass. Yeah, I, I still remember my very base ancestor. Get this... Get this fucking thing out my fucking way. Wait, what about your ancestor, Bright? And actually, what are you doing with the the stairs? Ladder? Ladder, yeah. The, the stairs. Yeah, I didn't you want just that. ripped the stairs on the floor. Oh, These God. are my stairs now. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to get that ladder out of the way. Fire? Yes, we have to clean the fire. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm cleaning the glass part of the fireplace. <laughs> oh, okay, the glass. I was about to say, are you just spraying water directly onto the fucking fire? Oh my gosh, it actually right. looks like it's his inside. Look at that. It looks like it's on the inside. Right. Get out the swivel thingamajig. We have to just. We have to kill this fire. <laughs> uh, apparently. Oh, I mean, like, uh, the swivel what is thing. Called? Okay, hold on. That's yeah, the uh, Prime Vista Pro. <laughs> now, now, we are Ghostbusters. Yeah, but uh, about my ancestor, I'm not sure if Bookworm heard this, but uh, one of my ancestors, how uh, the, my Irish side actually made it to America was because... Don't cross the streams. Right, quickly, we need to cross the streams. Uh... <laughs> but anyways <laughs> go ahead yeah that's what I was saying um yeah my ancestor uh, it was during a time I forgot what time but you're able to like sail to America on a boat but um during that time that was a lot of time during history no well uh, let me get to the point when the major during part. history it was during one of the the potato fan uh the, i'm not potato, the irish famines the irish famines which the, one of the potato famines the first i don't one or the second one i don't remember which one but it was during one of them uh it was strictly forbidden to take any livestock from a noble my ancestor took one. I uh, took a really big fat pig from a noble's estate and gave it to his family to eat. And nice. a neighbor ratted on him because at during that time, if you ratted on someone who stole from a noble, um, they would give you a bag of potatoes. Yeah, I got that whole fucking yeah. uh, um, witch hunt shit going on. Yeah. And he got right it on off. And man, considering and, how horribly starved people got, I could see telling for a bag of potatoes. But that's still so cold. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, he he fled to America. 
And, nice. Uh, yeah, and that's how my uh, Irish side came to America. After stealing a noble's pig. <laughs> You know what? At least he wasn't starving to death in Ireland as the English were thinking of replacing people with cows because they weren't racist against the Irish. I mean, why do you think the Irish celebrated the Queen's death? <laughs> you know what? That's valid. There's a long history of the English basically thinking of the Irish as basically a different version of African Americans, we'll say nicely. Yeah. yeah, that happened. <laughs> and, you know, the British still kind of act on it time to time. Yeah, I think there's, I think Ireland is still petitioning to have their fucking land back. I mean, yeah, the IRA is still very active trying to uh, have Ireland reclaim Northern Ireland. Yeah. It's basically like, hey, you stole our land. You conquered us. See? Please stop being racist sick. And the English are like, we like this. And then they yeah. wonder why a mortar goes off very close to the Prime Minister. <laughs> you know what? That's valid. But also, to be fair, the Irish are not the only group the English have been recently racist against. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's, they, it's not they, as good, to be fair, but... Yeah, like, they they had literally the largest empire in human history. They, it, you don't get that big without being racist to a lot of people. I, mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to coin that letter. Even in their most recent history... They have the one prince who married the woman who was part black, and they basically kicked him and her out and made shit up for people to get angry about because they wanted to make excuses so they could, like, not risk having a black baby in the British royal family. Uh, yeah, I still find it funny. I think it was... what. I correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't it England who sent a, b a bunch of prisoners to Australia and just abandoned yeah. them? Yes. <laughs> Australia started as a penal colony, and then it became also, its own country. <laughs> also, through watching documentaries, I found out you know how the prince that very prince wore the not so good, uh, not so good German party outfit for one Halloween. He did it because his older brother bullied him too. You know, the one who's currently king. Oh. No, not currently king. That's it. that's their dad or something that's king, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Either way, his older brother was the one who basically bullied him too. And it was okay because he was basically the fair in case something happened to his brother. Oh, man. Ah, uh, yes. Monarchies. Fen Fen. Ah, uh, yes. And remember, folks, monarchies are just dictatorships with incest. You know what? That's, that's fair. Considering there's literally uh, a channel on YouTube that basically discusses how much, in, how much inbreeding certain royals have, Ah. When it's so common, there's an entire YouTube channel dedicated to it. So you're not wrong? Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm kind of just doing whatever my eye gets caught on right now oh yeah i i just uh i saw that it pissed someone off because i did uh i pro i pro uh i proved them wrong in, in the funniest way possible why um, would you do all right so he was talking this guy was talking about how uh jesus was white he wasn't um what the uh <laughs> 
so here's the thing. I didn't say I didn't go in full explanation. This is how the the, the why Jesus is. Uh, I asked him, okay, where was uh, uh, in what region was uh, <laughs> Jesus born? He said the Arab region. So, uh, what what is Jesus? <laughs> he was like, oh, <laughs> he got so mad at me because he immediately threw the cell phone. <laughs> It was so stupid, but I was laughing. He was so pissed. Literally, the majority, if not all the stories of the Bible take place in different parts of the Middle East, so... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why am I I'm not sure that? what they were expecting. Yeah. I think it's really weird to mm -hmm. see, like... I saw some, like, oh, wait, that's right. I should probably, I just remembered. Bright doesn't want to talk about that particular element of current events. Oh. Which is kind of fair. So I think I'll leave that one off my brain. Oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> I am, it took me a few seconds. I was like, oh. <sighs> Because Catholics wanted Mary to be a perpetual virgin. Oh wait, I didn't see a fun. Fun thing I've seen around going around Twitter is people reacting to the fact that Jesus likely had siblings because Catholicism wanted Mary to be a perpetual virgin. The G word going down in a certain area. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course Mary would sleep with her husband. I mean, what was that? <laughs> what was God expecting? Her to be celibate and her husband to be celibate. They, they just, didn't get married to be celibate together. Just completely randomly. Nah, you know what? We'll just take this as the Catholic Church trying to create canonical godly ace rep, okay? <laughs> yeah, actually, it wasn't on, on any... I, I saw a funny animation where... um, About that, uh, where basically... Uh, Fuck, I forgot Jesus' father, uh, uh, father's name. I, God you, damn it. You forgot? <laughs> Not God, but the other one. I forgot his fucking name. You forgot? You forgot? The Christian in the room forgot Joseph's name. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, anyway, it, 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 the, cu the cartoon <laughs> showed that Jose Joseph was just sitting outside the door while uh, God was just banging Mary <laughs> inside the room. Oh. Oh. And he was like, can I come in now? And he was like, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> Warn me. like, Bible-wise, it said that he basically got her through, like, a life. Which is probably the most boring way to get someone pregnant. And Bookworm said Joseph was is into some cuck old shit. Yeah, that's where my brain went to. <laughs> After I stopped dying of fucking air loss <laughs> from hearing your unmitigated stupidity. I will say though. But considering Mary got impregnated by, like, a beam of light, God sure took a few notes from Zeus. Yeah. Like, how do I not get discovered that I'm cheating again by my wife again? I know, beam of light. Yeah, except okay. uh, Zeus it didn't always ask for permission. Never asked for permission from anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he basically gave his daughter away. He was, he was. Oh, you know, sometimes I think about Greek mythology, and I think how weird it is. He technically gave his daughter away to his brother, so. Yeah. Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> and those are. Somehow the most, that's somehow the most, the one couple in, like, Greek mythology that fucking works for some reason. Yeah. That one. Isn't 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, at the very least, he's respectful of his ace sister, sort of. Oh yeah, I was about to ask that. Apollo is isn't he like also trying to go after his twist twin sister? Yeah, Apollo is also hunted after like at least one man and like a few women. One of them is it was his twin sister. Like they were twins, right? Wait, are you talking about Apollo and Artemis all of a sudden? Yeah, cause I I think I read like a myth or something like where he actually tried going after his sister. I mean, I guess that's probably something that happened in myth. I, I don't think that's Apollo. That was someone else who went after Artemis. That guy was turned into a deer. And it was not Apollo turned into a deer. So thankfully, that's not a sweet home Alabama moment, but it was. You should probably be careful about which god you're trying to peep on. I also understand, wasn't there also an instance of, like, someone who, like, a guy who, like, unintentionally spied upon Artemis, so she just turned him into a woman? Oh, no. Oh, I, I, I misinterpreted the myth. All right. Um, Apollo was too over overprotective of his sister. <laughs> and, That's uh... I know, but uh, actually got the person Artemis actually fell in love with uh, killed. Oh. Yeah. Um, which caused, which, uh, fuck. It, yeah, he created the scorpion. Uh, or, or something like that. Hold on. I don't even see want to find it. Are you saying he invented scorpions to keep his sister protected from the person? Uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing where it is. Apollo is possibly the worst wingman in history. This is ironic because isn't he commonly uh, depicted with wings? Oh no, you're right. Fucking ladder keeps getting in my fucking way. Alright, hold on. I got something someone talked about Orion. Okay. Orion was a giant. Who served uh, a king joined the hunters of Artemis because Artemis struck up a friendship with Orion. Also, Festus had made Orion uh, some mechanical eyes because Orion was blinded by the king he served. Orion got his crazy idea that he was going to hunt everything, and his mom uh, sent a giant scorpion to kill Orion. One of the stories suggests Apollo shot Orion with an arrow to kill him. So it's so, so his mother sent the scorpion, and, and Apollo joined in by shooting an arrow at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Greek mythology narrated by Bright is one of the most cracked out shits I have ever heard in my life. To be fair, Greek mythology is pretty cracked out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Apparently, there's there are actually several myths about men going after Artemis and uh, Apollo murdering them. Once again, worst lean man ever. <laughs> yeah, She's like, hey, I like this guy. He's like, oh, you mean the one I just killed? Yeah, I think, yeah, and, and uh, Artemis, who was really close to him, uh, oh, high top fade, suspected a fall... On one of their planes, was about to give it a test flight when Ivory came skipping into the workshop carrying their box of secrets. What is in the box? Secrets. Distracted high top fade launched their plane across the room where, in a one million shot, it wedged itself deep in the mechanicism of the the present uh, something. It, it went away, so I couldn't read it. Right. Get up here. <laughs> Whatever. I will say Greek mythology shouldn't be taken too seriously. It's a lot of yeah. stupid shit. Like, they were super sexist. One case in point being Pandora. 
The original version of Pandora was she was actually very intelligent, but she was literally created to punish mankind. Yeah. The first woman of all humanity. Literally crafted to punish humans. How yeah. do you feel about that? Amazing. I honestly couldn't tell a lot of what you said. Uh, the original myth of Pandora's box, the gods actually created her to be highly intelligent, but she was also created to be a literal punishment to mankind. The first oh. woman. Damn. That, it was an example of how sexist mm. ancient uh great yeah that's the that's the unfortunate thing like trying to reconstruct like in the modern day a lot of practices is just the fact that any given depiction of the gods are largely like most heavily a product of the humans who are trying to depict those gods as such a lot of really bad shit gets mixed up when, you know, the gods might not actually be like that because, well, I don't know. I'd, I'd kind of like to believe that the actual Zeus out there in the ethos uh, isn't the Zeus that's seen in most Greek mythos in the same way. You know, if that's fair, I also do not want to believe Zeus jumps everything that moves with a hole. Yeah. Uh, though, uh, to finish with Orion, um, when oh, Armus yeah. found, uh, his, you know, him being dead, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he, uh, she turned him into the constellation Orion. Ah. Yeah. That's the whole story of the constellation Orion, everything, basically. So basically, Interesting. yeah. But yeah, like, that's that's an unfortunate element of, like, I need to continue watching it, but there's a really good uh, podcast that, like, um, is, like, uh, two or three, like, lesbian uh, history majors. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I just now noticed that Bookworm's been ch typing in my chat. This game is, like, giving me severe streamer vision. Uh, that too. Got to keep the line pure. Oh, so that's back when we were talking about incest. And a scorpion was made a constellation as well. So now they can fight up there. Oh my god. Oh, so oh, my god. oh no, he's right. Oh no. Yeah, there is a scorpion constellation. Oh wow, that's even more messed up. It's okay, haven't been chatting here much, been putting a lot in Bright's chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's basically just them talking about Ar Armus, but like, not, uh, being able to date much men since he mainly hangs out with women. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a reason why it's pretty common for Artemis to be, uh, quite favored by modern lesbian culture. And feminist, from what I've seen. Well, I mean, yeah. But yeah, as I was... Oh, go ahead. You can continue. I was gonna say, like, um, as I was okay. saying, I need to watch more of the series, but there's a, a podcast that I was uh, tuned into that's uh, like a, a couple of history majors that are lesbians um, basically doing a comprehensive breakdown of everything that we know about Sappho. And one of the most common themes early on was basically just reiterating the fact that 
Uh, ancient Greek society was so fucking sexist. <laughs> like, there's been a handful of people I see that, like, will mention, you know, sometimes I kind of wonder if the Greeks were hella gay literally just because they hated women that much. And, like, I don't want to just automatically jump on that, but you really do have to wonder at times. Yeah, I've also wondered that. And I've heard others wonder that. I wonder like, if... It, it, okay. It's most, like, what I'd be willing to guess... That's what I've heard. What I'd be willing to guess is that, like, this is this is my personal... Well, not really personal, but a common little theory I tend to uh, hold to about, like, human sexual attraction. I'm pretty confident that the majority of humans are in some way uh, M-spec. It would make the most sense given the precedent based upon our closest animal relatives. And I it would also- I understand what that sexuality is unless I heard you wrong. Uh, M-spec is multi-sexual attraction spectrum. So like by pan- Oh, yeah, it's already been proven that the majority of humans are that on some degree or another. Yeah, so it's like, and it's just like, an absurd amount of repression that has led to so many people basically just not realizing that they do have attraction to the same gender. Meanwhile, or, or like, like other me, genders. Like, I can be straight. I can be no. I can't. Yeah, and like what I what I think might be the case is given that trend throughout, like given that trend, um it could very well be the case that basically we had an inverse of what we see with a lot of like very closeted by people in the modern day where like you have uh like people that will just outright say you know attraction is a choice i chose not to be attracted to my buddy steve like that i'd like to i i i have a feeling that it's basically the exact reverse in ancient greece because they were just so misogynistic that people hyper focused on their attraction to men and as such that made the culture seem a lot gayer than it might have actually been. I will admit it does make them look really gay when they talk about how perfect humanity was when it was just all men. That does I mean, sound... yeah. yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, basically, I, I'm I'm meaning, like, that gay element is still very much there. I'm just thinking, like, what if it's basically just the inverse of, of basically a reworking of compulsory heterosexuality in the modern yeah. day? Yeah, and I, I think it's, that's, it's, that's fair. But I also, they were probably still, like, generally, most likely, like, bi or straight no no that is what i'm meaning like, like that that is what i'm meaning like i i mean like i'm basically pondering as to whether or not ancient greece like the majority of people were still m spec were still bi and along those lines but like the gay stuff in their culture was partially a result of basically compulsory Oh, thank you, Bookworm, for the five dollars and ten cents to Doctors Without Borders. I appreciate that. Basically, a uh, compulsory homosexuality within their cultural zeitgeist, basically. In the same way that, like, a lot of uh, people who are attracted to multiple genders in our society as we know it experience compulsory heterosexuality that basically just forces them into thinking oh well i guess i am straight i just you know ignore those feelings i wonder if basically a similar thing happened but in the opposite direction in ancient greece that's all i'm trying to get at that's a possibility no yeah. He just wanted to show what uh, 420 on the fucking thing book. Uh, <laughs> days since last eggnog incident zero. <laughs> Wait, did eggnog have to do with this?
Possibly. I don't drink eggnog, but possibly. Maybe eggnog is alcoholic to elves. This is just moldy eggnog. Ugh! Fuck! You! I'm glad I'm wearing this mask. Isn't there some eggnog that's alcoholic? I mean, I would imagine that that's possible. People can put alcohol- like, people put alcohol in almost everything. To try different stuffs. Yeah. Not oh, yeah. And, oh. The majority of uh, mixed drinks, originally some version of alcoholic. But the ones that aren't alcoholic originally end up typically getting alcohol added to it. One example being the Shirley Temple. It is literally like a Sprite drink and uh, grenadine with cherry added. But there's so many versions online with alcohol. Hey. Meanwhile, I'm going to sip my root beer. Mm. Root beer is valid. I love root beer. Especially one with the taste of sassafras. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mom says quieter voice, please. Okay. Sorry. I must be quieter. Louder voice. You have a quiet voice in general. Wait, I wait. I have a quiet voice in general. Yeah. I think that might just be the, um, like the way I come through Discord, because I understand myself to be a very loud person. Huh. Then I guess you typically sound loud, or not loud, but quiet when you're talking on Discord. Yeah. It might just be instinctual at this point because, like, I don't want to disturb my family. Or Discord settings. Yeah, that's what Book said. That's fair. But yeah, and sorry if, like, the way that I went about that felt like I was trying to talk over you, Gary. Oh, no, no. Okay. I, I already know that I tend to have... Oh, uh, sorry. You got Discord cut out. What did you say? I said it was... It was okay. I didn't take it that way. It's more of, uh, when you're in a conversation, it's better that both parties have time to talk. And yeah. I'd rather not talk over you. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a very chill game to play. Yeah. This would genuinely be, like, an absolutely phenomenal game to play for, like, like actual like deeper discussions because mm -hmm. it's just so instinctual like i'm basically just turning my brain off and talking about gay history well if we want to talk about history gay history there was that one woman who was from the island of lesbos who named her fake husband like wasn't it something translated meant like something around like a uh, man from the island, man uh, or something from the island oh, of man or something. Oh, that's actually the thing. Uh, the person I was talking about earlier that's like, uh, that you're speaking of Sappho. Yeah, Sappho. And that's the yeah. thing, like, at the very least, based upon what um, uh, those history majors that I talked about in that, uh, um, in that podcast, it does seem very likely that she did actually have a husband. Uh, yeah. Like she, she does actually have kids from some of the records that we have. So the the big like the big thing that uh, makes it somewhat difficult to talk about Sappho a lot of the times is um, the unfortunate fact that lesbian separationism. Uh, really is very common in LGBT plus spaces, which tends to lead to people basically just ignoring other interpretations of queer history 
uh, with queer women as just being exclusively lesbian man hating people? Well, it is important for that for people to remember that women throughout history, even lesbians, typically had to get married eventually. Even the that is true of women. That right? is true, but especially but with we also don't know if they were lesbian or bisexual or just no, we have or... no idea besides that women were an option. Especially like the fact that let's just be frank, like even even the framing of lesbian being like exclusively uh loving like women loving women that's like directly downstream of lesbian separationism when it's like the earliest like woman loving woman like uh themes basically had uh bi women and monosexual women using the same label because the word lesbian was just very frequently used to mean just women loving women, right? I actually didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, like, um... Oh, thank you, Bookworm, again for the $27 for Doctors Without Borders. I have very much appreciate that. Did Bookworm get it to a meme... Yeah, it's sixty nine dollars. Uh, damn it. Um, but as I was saying, uh, yeah, like the early part of, like, the development of a lesbian community, lesbian was a term that was basically just used to describe generally women who had attraction to women, and then uh, I want to say in like the early to late seventies, you have the beginnings of what we call lesbian separationism, which was basically an offshoot of extremely uh, second wave feminist and like the most toxic elements of second wave feminism oriented uh, lesbian women that basically decided we're going. They probably did something similar to what the majority of the queer community did, and that was trying to cut out the parts of the community that were less acceptable. Like lesbian, like women loving women and nothing else is more acceptable for some reason than bisexual women or pan women or any other sort of label. Like yeah, that, that section or, of the community. Or gay, straight or like only, only liking men or only liking women, not some version of both or something else is scary for some reason. Yeah, so, I, I can see how that ha would happen, and I don't like it, but I see where it came from, especially since I do know one old friend of mine I used to know from Guy Online for a long time. She would say her and her girlfriend would just call themselves pansexual because whenever they went to events or anything or spoke to people, there was this bias against bisexual people yeah like bisexual women like in particular because there's this myth that media has not held that says that bisexual women are just women faking it to get men yeah it's the basically any talking points like that are downstream from lesbian separationism uh it's basically just uh, the really frequently uh, biphobic section of monosexual lesbians that basically said, this term is exclusively ours now. When, like, ultimately speaking, the term lesbian originally, and as far as I'm concerned, should be basically just like the term gay. But more uh the leaning towards gay. basically yeah and it's like the word gay gets used by women the word gay gets used by fucking everyone because in many ways it's kind of a vibe everyone uses the word gay so why yeah. why is it that all of a sudden after the word bisexual showed up we have a shit ton of the most toxic rad femmes basically deciding 
no one's allowed to use the lesbian word the way that we used it before now. Well, there was also a wave of trying to erase trans people out of oh, uh, recent yeah. history because they wanted the queer community as a whole, like a lot of them, wanted to be accepted more by the mainstream. Oh yeah, that's a that's a real major thing and that's a that's another like very major thing talking with like modern lesbian separationists uh their arguments are basically the exact same used by turfs just with reworded uh... language uh because most of the turfs arguments originates from lesbian separationism when it uh, comes that's... to like L lgbt plus spaces And also, if you're wondering, Bright, my connection timed out. I'm coming back in. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice you left. <laughs> yeah, my contact, my fucking connection timed out. I will say, if it wasn't for the splatters of other colors around the room, I would say it looks like a room that's been attacked by a chimney. Instead, it looks like it was attacked by a really weird cocoa bomb. When we first went in here, Hatchet, it looks like someone took a shit everywhere. And splattered paint everywhere, didn't it? I don't the think it, it looks like poop. I think it looks like a cocoa bomb because cocoa bombs are mostly brown, but they do have splatterings of pink for like strawberry and cherry and shit. They have red for cherry. They have red for sometimes peppermint. They have green for matcha. They have green for like all sorts of different flavors and let me just turn the fucking alarm off yeah. there we go all of what these the colors could technically be colors from different cocoa bombs yeah yeah I yeah just... bring on me oh, although yeah. i have to say mixing Flavors like lavender, strawberry, and matcha do not exactly sound very appealing to me, but it's not my cocoa bomb. Yeah. But yeah, that's a section of LGBT plus history I've become keenly aware of, especially after... Uh dragon left and i had that first conversation that was basically just about like whether or not it's all right to be an m-spec lesbian or a bi lesbian or a pan lesbian yeah i think at first i didn't really look into it because i didn't take penguins seriously because they were a kid i just took them on their word but then when they attack you like some psychopath i started to realize no this makes no sense and i had to look it up so I'm I'm guilty of under researching in that I just yeah but um no. but uh, off topic but I I see in my chat uh uh I I I did because I am seeing all, sh all streams I am the bitly and air god in all caps Jesus <laughs> Look, why the you know is, what? Is if anyone, okay? if mm. anyone can earn enough uh, points to get the highest tier of bright stuff, it would probably be Bookworm. So if it anyone probably can would. force yeah. you to play Tattletail, it would probably be Bookworm. That's why I said when uh, on my last stream when Lithics were wondering who Bookworm was, I said they're my Bitlionaire simp. I'm sorry. I, I still say you've got to fucking turn down those final rewards because they are exorbitant. Uh, I am. I am. I just haven't had the time. Yeah, and while you're at it, add a no naughty option, like the no cursing thing. Yeah. <laughs> says I would I'm love like... something where you can pay points, have bright. Not say random shit like tip or dick. I feel like that would be kind of downstream of the anti-naughty redeem. 
Yeah. What? Also, I think some of those like uh, high ones I probably will just get rid of, such as buying a Furby of myself. Because I actually looked at the price of it. If I actually did like get custom made, it would be close to fifteen hundred to two thousand, depending on how much I want it made. Oh, I'm not yeah, paying those... that much for a Furby. <laughs> Hate the brick. Yeah, it. those. Those tend to be pretty exorbitant. It's a lot of work to I make guess those. If you ever got a custom one, you have to buy it normal and customize it yourself. Yeah, I I think I want to get rid of that one. And... Okay, here's the plan. Here's here's the plan, Bright. If you ever get that redeem redeemed, okay, you buy the Furby, you send it to me, and I customize it. And then that's all you get. You get your money's worth because it's gonna be awful. Oh my god. Anyways, um, also for the VR Telltale thing, um, I do not have the equipment to do it. So even if someone does oh, redeem it, um, no, I thought I could do it with Oculus Rift, but no, I have to use the HTC C Vive, I think it's called. So apparently, Telltale uh, won't work with an Oculus. Damn. And oh, uh, we got really strong stuff up here. Oh yeah. And I I decided to uh, look at how much one of those costs. My Oculus headset, I only had to pay three hundred dollars for it. An HTC Vive, for just one part of it like the headset is like a thousand bucks not even jesus. Or inclusive jesus fucking christ yeah that's never gonna happen anytime soon you know what this is the sort of time where i should be getting an extender yeah you can make me play talent if you hit the donation goal in other words uh we need to get this donation goal up to two thousand <laughs> percent yeah, each time someone brings that up, I always up the number. It... <laughs> Last time it was a thousand, so I, I said two thousand percent. Yeah, the soot stuff is really hard to get off there, huh? I'm glad my fever went down. Oh, you were dealing with a fever? I still kind of have it. It's smoke inhalation caused. Um. Kind of why I was wonked out before Christmas and during Christmas. Oh. As Sorry. The, who was there. actually the one who figured it out first? And since then, they basically had the air filter around me when I wasn't at work. Like, the air filter is basically right next to my chair. Uh-huh. Spood did that. Based Spood. <laughs> but to be fair, it feels like my body's been trying to reject the the smoke in my body by any mess necessary, which includes many trips to the bathroom. Uh, Look, we're imagine having that much money to donate. You have that money to donate because you're a billionaire. Well, it would be three hundred thousand dollars. Wait, what? If if I said by two thousand percent, but when did the math? Three hundred. Yeah, let's not expect the form to do that much. Yet. We believe in you, Book. No, no, no. We believe in him, but not in that way. He's Take not multiple lungs out of the bank. No. <laughs> Don't be like Bright. Don't be irresponsible. <laughs> Irresponsibility is the spice of life. No. We've got a portrait I'm uncovering over here. Oh, I feel like you... an archaeologist. <laughs> Are 
or just work for the military industrial complex and make money off of others' death. <laughs> You know what? That's fine. There's worse ways to make money. Making money off of others' deaths is fine. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I said making money off of others' deaths are fine. I mean, I mean, it's not as bad as being a southern farmer. I have southern farmers in my family. <laughs> I was making a joke about the past. <laughs> when the marriage was first starting. Oh. Yeah, that. Free Civil War Southern Farmers. Yeah. To be fair, my family on my mom's side has never owned that kind of thing. You mean a plantation I of never had enough... Huh? Given the conversation, it is very bad wording to say that kind of thing. Yeah, you just called the people things. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't calling people things. I was calling... Like the plantation itself. Yeah, they've, they've never been plantation owners. They've never owned people. They've never lived in that area of the South. There is ugly a great amount of South that was not technically working with the South. Like, New York. My mom and dad's family, I mean, my mom's family, her dad and mom's side, both live around the New York area. <laughs> and neither like my mom's mom. But so my also, mom's mom is still getting cared for. But Carl also said, actually, I don't know if, if small farmers would have owned enslaved people. They would not have. Good. Yeah, they wouldn't have. Good point. It was the although, big landowners, primarily. Although most of those who lived in the pro-slave states still did not care and were still pro-slavery because they were raised on biases. Yeah. It was similar to Abe Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, at first, was not anti-slavery because he grew up poor. He, he unlike most presidents, he grew up dirt poor. He never met a black person until probably when he became president, honestly. Yeah. All right. And then he realized that, oh shit, all the things I knew were wrong. He started learning and growing and realizing uh, this was fucked up. And then he was shot in the head. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't have said it like that, okay. but he was shot in the head. French Bob, just describe what this black stuff is. This present machine oh. right here got held up uh, and uh, it was shooting coal pellets everywhere. Uh. Wait, even the purple? Even the blue? Even the green? I'm pretty sure it's something else. I heard prison machine, not prison machine. <laughs> Bookworm, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I actually watched a a, a, a short uh, before uh, um before this. Uh, I found out that there's one thing that's not taught in Japanese schools. That uh, many people have been out in the Western Hemisphere been judging them for. Um, they Dude. don't. They don't. They uh, Japanese schools don't teach what the German Party symbol was. And, and the reason fair, Japan doesn't teach a lot of questionable things like Japan still denies the existence of comfort women during World War Two. Yeah, I was going to say, like, this is literally just the exact reason why I tend to be, like, one of the major uh, arguments that people make in favor of Attack on Titan being fascist 
is uh, the fact that uh, Hajime Isayama, I think in like, oh, it, it would have been like 2012, 2011, um, got into a spat with some Korean users on Twitter because uh, um, he was basically engaging in genocide denial surround, or I shouldn't say that word, big G word denial surrounding uh, the Japanese uh, interactions with Korea, let's say. Uh... And, like, a lot of people really, like, freaked out and said this means that Attack on Titan is fascist, when, like, my main perspective is, like, yes, this is objectively bad, but it's also entirely expected when that section of Japanese history is conspicuously not actually properly told in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Like, it their their education proper... is so whitewashed. Yeah. That's, it, the, the, to continue on with the short that I watched, uh, oh. there was a, a, uh, an old guy, like, old, like uh, probably lived uh, to barely see World War One, kind of, I'm not sure sure how old he would be that's basically what they described him as but basically um he ah. he was t saying how the german party symbol it's shaped different in japan and is used as a religious i i can't tell you where like a religious building is and right that's not the nazi symbol that's one of I know. the symbols that came before it yeah, he actually knew it was a, uh, the German party symbol, uh, and he actually said he wished it was actually taught in schools, as well as other things. He actually wanted the kids to learn, which I respected. Yeah. Probably because he I think saw I've... everything, to be honest. Yeah. That's, that's like something that I do tend to be particularly frustrated with in like like learning more about these things is um like as a norse pagan uh it's very frustrating to constantly see the amount of appropriation that the bad german dudes did of norse culture and an extra thing from my childhood really piqued my interest and really frustrates me uh, because it's very likely that uh, they also source their earliest versions of the bad symbol from some Norse dig sites as well. That symbol was actually associated with Odin in ancient Norse society. Yeah. Likely came over uh, to like Northern Europe during the Roman Empire, when, like, the Silk Road had a lot of trade routes coming through, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of cultural exchange. And, like, I th what was it? I think the earliest example of it being in Europe that we have is actually on a coin that was uh, associated with a cult of Odin. And it's, like, it's also, like, one of the earliest artifacts we have of, like, a cult of Odin, and it's like 500 AD that that coin was like the time period of that coin existed in. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's like particularly frustrating because for me, as a pagan, I would actually be very interested in using this symbol in my spirituality, but I can't. Because. Uh, because some people fucked it up. Yeah. Sometimes that happens, and it really sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... Yeah. I will say Odin wouldn't have been pro-German uh, party. They would have been very anti-German party, but then again, they were also the person that literally learned female magic because they wanted to learn all the knowledge. Oh, the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Hatchet. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are... That... 
there have been memes about Terrorizer. I'm not sure if you know who they are from the Thanos crew. Yeah. Well, of course I know who Terrorizer is. About being a, a, a German party member. He, he, he isn't. It's like a little joke. Cause of his, like, German voice that he does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure if you saw the video, but on one of his mail time videos, someone sent him his grandfather's um, German party helmet. What the? F <laughs> yep. He received it. He looked did... at it, and he was like, oh my god. <laughs> how, like, how did he actually, like, properly react? That's... He looked at it, he opened the box, saw it for a quick second, and closed the box. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh my god. It was his reaction at first. Then he called LeMay over, with his girlfriend, and had yeah. her look at she wanted to immediately to throw it away when he said uh, he wanted to take it to a museum. Don't throw it away. He's going to take it to a museum. He's going to donate. Yeah. He donated it. But that's that's probably a better use for it. But yeah. But <laughs> someone sent him that. <sighs> Bookworm says, or just destroy it. Yeah, that's that's the that's the. Uh... Um, that's the unfortunate reality of, like, having a fan box. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get shit like that. Especially if you even touch slightly on political topics. Yeah. I shouldn't say fan box. Uh, a, a mailbox that fans can send you stuff. But the funniest part was in the letter, he says, like, so I wanted to give you this, but uh, this was my grandfather, so don't judge me for this. Was it what the fan said? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to judge that fan. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized that was his grandfather's helmet. Yeah. That means he was... Oh, okay. It took me a few seconds to realize that after I spoke it, and I feel so stupid. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't... My brain wasn't putting two, th two together. That he was part of the party. <laughs> when it was his helmet. Uh... <laughs> Listen, right, listen, yes. buddy old pal, friend of mine, but buddy o, friend o, bud, your stupidity baffles me sometimes. <laughs> how did you not, how, what, how was that not immediately apparent in your brain? I don't know. Like the, like there's. There's only two scenarios where it would make sense for someone's grandpa to have had that. It was either a war trophy and he was on the ally side, or he was not on the ally side. Yeah. So, um, Nogla actually did get Terrors or a good Christmas gift in our Christmas gift video. Yeah. Um, he actually, cause I didn't even know you can buy this. He actually bought a backpack that that was used by an American during World War II that still had some of the person's blood on it. Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah, and it still had the flask and everything in it. Yeah, he bought that for him. I mean, okay. It, 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 the main reason is because Terrorizer, the, one of Terrorizer's favorite part of world history is, weird, fun, weirdly enough, World War II. Yeah. So he actually did appreciate that. It's the first thing he asked is like, please don't t tell me this is the German side. Oh, God. <laughs> he said, no, this is the American side. <laughs> but I didn't even know that. Though he, Nogla did say one other thing that made them both joke about this. Uh, apparently... 
you can also buy the guns used during World War II. Uh, uh, guns used during World War II by both sides. Uh, God damn it. Give me a moment. Oh. You it, can... It, it lets you type now. Hell yes. Like I was saying, uh, it, you can use... Uh, uh, buy the guns from both sides of World War, World War II. And Noko said, said weirdly enough, the, the German guns were, were super fucking cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and there is no fucking... Uh, of course they weren't. They want to get rid of them. This is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true. Yeah. It's also just because there's so goddamn many of them. They were really mass-produced to shit. Yeah. But yeah, my... My... Uh... A close IRL friend has finally made a Twitch account and can chat in my chat now. Nice. So welcome in, Gar. Hi, Gar. We've not been talking about weird shit. We've been... Hello, everyone, says Gar. Yes, uh, this game encourages talking about just whatever the fuck you can think of because it's so monotonous. So we've jumped from... Uh, I'm always talking about what stuff they say. We we jumped from discussions about queer history to uh, things generally related to uh, the bad German party. Yeah. Um, see, here's here's one thing. If I was ever sent something like to be a, a part of world hi uh, world history, one thing. I think it would probably be ancient Greece because I am still very much deeply in love with Greek mythology. I really much love it. Fair enough. It's at the very least a less sussy period of time to be obsessed with. Since break the Parthenon on? No. <laughs> I don't even know how I expect sends an entire building in the mail <laughs> i just opened the door and there's just like a giant building in front of my door <laughs> no wait no it'd be funny if it was sent block by block <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that would be the funniest shit i'll be like why do i have this random white block <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the Parthenon uh, is white, right? I mean, I believe it was primarily constructed of marble, so probably. Okay. I it, just want... Its color has probably changed over the ages, but uh, yeah. generally just... that stayed. Exit archway. I'm very happy that we don't have to get literally every single speck of dirt. <laughs> Booker says, now your house is a tourist attraction. Have fun. Good. I can actually, I can actually quit my job <laughs> and just charge people to see it. <laughs> have everyone pay exactly $25 to look at a single block of the Parthenon. Yeah. Whatever it's called. <laughs> just one block. There's like, how did you get this? It was shipped to me in the mail. <laughs> uh, no, I would just say don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> or and... what? Anyway, did you know that the uh, hyper conservative religious owners of Hobby Lobby uh, ended up funding uh, the? that we say extremist bad group that shares a name with an Egyptian deity? Oh. It, oh, you mean I... Yes, that. <laughs> I yeah, was fun fact. It. Yeah, fun fact. Hobby Lobby uh, purchased stolen Iraqi artifacts from the Iraq War and the funds for those artifacts ended up funding the early development of that group. Yeah, I'm basically taking care of objects right now that, that are going to be a pain in the ass to clean. Such as these desks. Valid. 
That is also a uh, tangential knowledge to that. Fun fact, even to this day, Hobby Lobby does not have barcodes in in their stores. They do not have barcodes and censors because the 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 extremely religious conservative owners think that barcodes are the sign of the devil. So uh oh and they also have very limited camera coverage. So this is not uh I I will I will finish this tangent by simply saying uh, crime is bad. That's all. So, uh, you know how you can go to a site and you can put a link in and it'll create a bar co barcode to it? Or yeah. Or QR code? Yeah. Um, I did that and I actually went to Hobby Lobby, not knowing that, all that information. I decided to just do something for shit and giggles. Um, it goes, I knew it was a Christian thing. Or, or whatnot. Or religious thing. So, I took a, a video that was from Pornhub about some guy dressed up as Jesus fucking someone. <laughs> and that was the barcode and I just left it at one part in the store. So if anyone took it and scanned it, <laughs> they would just see Jesus fucking someone. <laughs> okay, now... uh, Oh gods, I'm gonna be fucking... Uh, I, I'm gonna be fucking confused because Gar and Book have the same colored name <laughs> in my chat. But anyway, um, Book, while I do agree with that statement, it is technically against, uh, my chat TOS, so, bad Book. What happened? Book said uh, a statement in my chat. And we found out that you're even more gay than usual. Obviously. What? I come back from the bathroom to that. Eh. Let me see. We were talking about the immoral stuff that... Uh, Bobby, wait, I need to keep my voice down. <laughs> we were talking about the immoral stuff that Hobby Lobby has done in the past. And, oh, uh, yeah. Like, from stealing ancient artifacts illegally to... Uh, let me just take a moment there, just saying that like that, stealing ancient artifacts. Like Britain. Mm -hmm. Like Britain, only it's a company instead of a country. How the fuck do I delete messages? Don't worry about it. Okay, you know what? Here's Here's my solution. I could probably delete it, but I'm not a mod. Well, you're... didn't... I thought I gave you mod stuff oh, in my chat. Oh, I need chat. to look at your, your Twitch thingy. I thought I wasn't a mod. But my brain is also loopy, so what the fuck would I know? Oh, I do have mod view on your channel. Yeah, then uh, please delete the bookworm message that says, but also stealing, and then, yeah. Because while I agree, it is still technically against chat rules. Bookworm, for the first time, did a no-no. How dare you, bookworm. How dare you do a no-no? <laughs> Man, it seems like you can't delete messages on Twitch? Let me look it up, can you? Okay, first first <laughs> Alright, Bookworm, since you uh, did a no-no, you now have to give Hatchet $10. I don't- I can't make money off of Twitch yet. Oh, don't worry, there are there five are viewers here all of a sudden. Oh, there uh, is a how to delete messages on Twitch video. Let me just mute myself. Well, here, I've got a faster way to do this. That bookworm just reminded me. Let me just. Don't worry about it, book. I timed out bookworm. Now I untime out bookworm. There you go. Chat log is deleted. You, you should now be able to speak again, book. 
Watch book not be able to speak. <laughs> um. Uh, Gar, I think you should be able to see that, like, if you click on the. Uh, I think what you did might be the only way to do it because. Uh, yeah. Their view literally looks like another version of Twitch. Yeah. Um. Like, oh, so Twitch used to be able to do this? Really? Uh, so, Gar, I believe you should be able to see the chat rules if you click on the chat settings, which is the little cog at the bottom right of your chat box. I think one of those in there should allow you to look at the rules. Anyway, let's get back to cleaning. Where is 74%, by the way? Yeah, shit. How long have we been streaming? Two hours. Exit door window is separate from the exit itself. Yes. But uh, guard the the chat rules rules are pretty well basically. Uh, I'm gonna think of it. Did I actually like very specifically add in no incitement to crimes? Oh well, shit. I mean, it's pretty box standard. <laughs> Basically, uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, then I'll need to add that. So I guess technically, that isn't technically against the rules. Let oh. go in and work those. Well, Corm, you can now continue breaking the rules because it's not even a rule yet. But you see, that's also the thing. I'm pretty sure it's against Twitch's TOS. Never mind. <laughs> Still bad. Hmm. But yeah, I basically just threw those together like the night after I started streaming. So they were very hacked at. What am I fucking thing on this window? Okay. Sir, where's that fucking ladder? Hi. Okay, now longer. Mm, stinky. Did it just bookworm? Did you play a Tangia alert that just says mmm stinky? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? I'm going to use my mouse for this. It's Carlac from Baldur's Gate 3. I actually did look at the Baldur's Gate thing. It's not something I think I would play. Yeah. I mean, you kind of see what type of shit I do in games. It it probably would not go well for me if I play it. That's valid. Not every game is for everyone. I would probably get everyone killed pretty quickly. Well, yeah. I could see that. <laughs> It also requires hella good graphics. Yeah, my computer would die trying to. Yeah, play. my. I want. I like wanted to look into it because it sounded like a fun game that I would like. 
And then I, I looked at its requirements and I realized that my computer would just fucking have a heart attack if I tried to play that. My computer would literally catch on fire. I mean, w remember what happened when I tried playing Callisto Protocol where my com fans completely combusted? <laughs> Imagine yeah. it trying to play Baldur's Gate 3. It would literally catch on fire. Which is why, um, before my debut, I actually will have a new computer. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Got the money to grab the one you were looking for? Uh, I have more than enough. Wait. I have enough to pay a month's rent and do it. So, yes. Nice. Oh, I didn't know you were actually renting the place. Well, I pay my cousin rent. Yeah. That kind of is. Like one of the sort of like unofficial things. Yeah. Like I That's didn't have like... to do it. I just did out of kindness. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I mean, I'm living this but... house for fucking free. I, I ought to pitch in somehow. <laughs> However, this also means that unfortunately your cousin is a landlord, and as such, they are a bastard. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I don't think all landlords I know. are bastards. Yes, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's the thing with like landlords. Uh, it, and the thing with landlords, um, it's one of the main reasons why I, I push for bus to be a service animal because by federal law you can't deny me uh, to be part uh, living in your apartment because of bus stuff. Yeah. But w without the service animal thing, they can, for a fact, deny me. It's Book says, nah, helpful, this situation is just helping animal? out with utilities. You know what? That's fair. What's that, Jerry? Isn't Busta technically a service animal? You showed us the certificate and everything. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, um, without it, he, he, he would be, uh, we would be kicked out easily. They would oh. Be Yeah. You mean from places in general? Yeah. That's actually a thing. Um. Oh, that was a fire alarm. But anyways. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Jerry's house is getting set on fire. That is not my house. Wait, the fire alarm's not in my house. What fire alarm are you talking about? I heard like a ding sound. Like a high pitched ding sound. Oh, it was oh, Tangier. Not... You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was from either Hatchet or Jerry. Oh. Ivor threw open his box and started dishing out his new invention to everyone. Oh no. I have finally figured out a way to have one picture of Radler that looks weird before to not look weird of course i figure that out while i still have a slight yeah uh they were incredible like bags with handles that connected to a wadi thing that you hold in your hand what the fuck mm -hmm. what am i listening to a bit like your washer thing actually what i don't know i heard something from probably bookworm of tangia that's something i haven't actually checked in a while to make sure uh to it's Vegeta, Vegeta sad in the rain. To probably like get rid of things I don't want as Tangia Awards. I do need to go look at that. I haven't looked at it in probably like two months. Something busy. Probably take away the fire alarm one. Yeah, that was a that was no. Could be a safety hazard, yeah. That's it. speaking of fire alarm. I, I sw there's one thing that pisses me off. I have a fire alarm in my house that's like not connected into the wall. I refuse to put it oh. in because uh I I took it to the fire department. They said it's perfectly fine. However, the second you put batteries in it, it will not stop beeping. Uh, it'll just constantly beep 
and I'm sorry, I'm not keeping that in. I don't care if it's against a, a safety regulation or something. I, it's like, I have like three others in the house, so it's not like I, I don't gonna, have one. I was going to say, it's not like they're incredibly expensive either. Yeah, but like that fucker, I'm keeping it out of the wall. I'm not fucking keeping that shit in my wall. I mean, why don't you just trash it? Yeah, true. Or I can just leave it on the, st on the front porch of the fire station and say, here, it's your problem now with the note. Uh, just treat it like an abandoned child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Hatchet, we're cleaning the same area. Yeah, we were just cleaning some of the same stuff. Because I saw the ceiling and thought, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm now more tempted to actually do that. That's actually a pretty funny idea. I mean, they're the one who said it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just what leave a random okay? fire. <laughs> leave a random fire extinguisher. Not fire extinguisher. Fire alarm on their fucking porch yeah. oh yeah um so here's the thing remember when i i told you hatchet how the the firefighter said use flour for electrical fires yeah you don't do that oh that will actually make the fire bigger that kind of makes sense because oh, yeah. it is a plant material I want to make sure uh, I get this correct, because I don't want to say the wrong thing. The fucking slay sack cords are fucking cracked individually. Yeah. Okay, so since the fire I had was very small, what you sh what I sh what I what we should have done, f weirdly enough, for small electrical fires, baking soda can put it out. Mm. That's not actually weird. I didn't I didn't think baking soda would work. Okay, I'm from well, again. Baking soda is basically a cleaner. You know that, right? Oh. So yeah, do not use flour. Use baking soda for small electrical fires. And also do not use a fire extinguisher for electrical fires. I'm guessing the only reason it worked is because it's not all that flammable and it was able to suffocate the fire. What, the fire extinguisher? No. Oh, uh, the baking soda? Yeah. Yeah, it basically said for, like, a small coil fires or, like, fires from a toaster, it, it can snuff it out. Oh! But, like, for larger electrical fires, do not use baking soda. <laughs> it's not really going to do much to help. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's just say I almost use a whole fire extinguisher to try to get rid of um, the small fucking coil fire in my oven. I could see that. Yeah, uh, let's just say the fire extinguisher didn't do shit. No. <laughs> I was no. just... I was panicking, and I remember always being taught you was a fire extinguisher for fires. And when I was younger, and I was the, like, I just panicked. The fucking, the fucking sleigh ski and the sleigh track are separately tracked. Right. I will teach you something that they teach you in cooking class. Fire extinguishers are not that useful in grease fires. Oh, well, that I know. I worked with five guys. They taught me that. 
Well, then think of the fire in the coil kind of like, kind of like a grease fire. Yeah. With a coil. Isn't the, isn't the thing that causes the coil fire literally a buildup of grease on the inside of it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bookworm says, so you should have treated it like a grease fire, right? Yeah, Bookworm says, cover up grease fires, smother those bitches. Jesus. <laughs> so, Bright, what you should have done would, was treat it like a grease fire. You know how to do those, right? Yeah. Yeah, but um, th th here's the uh, thing that uh, that I, I found funny with the insurance because like um, one I wasn't I funnily enough I wasn't put at fault because the the oven that was put in place at that building um, was not checked when it uh, before selling that the house even when it should have been checked oh so I was covered. <laughs> But um, the second thing is they wanted to take a look at the oven to see if they could repair it before sending in a new one. Here's the thing. When the fire department would try to figure out the problem, they tore the bitch apart. <laughs> like, it would you know be impossible they to fix. They do that because, you know, their, their thoughts are removing the fire and removing the danger, not, like, keeping the oven alive. Their thoughts are keeping you alive, not the oven. Yeah, if you're wondering how many parts, it the, the oven can come apart in like, I think it's like six parts. It can come apart easily and be put back together. Uh, they took a part, tw they put it in 25 different parts. <laughs> it, was not, it was not able to, you know, be put back together. It was destroyed. It was dead. <laughs> So, this so, is yeah. as as far as I'm concerned, this is like a White Star Line. If White Star Line fucking put in a claim of insurance on the Titanic, and then the insurance company is like, "Well, can you send in the damaged product to see if we can repair it?" <laughs> oh no, it's kind of like that, isn't it? Yeah. So here's the funny thing is, um, uh. I told, I, I, I literally told the insurance company, yeah, sure, you can take it. Um, the the place you can pick it up is at the dump. <laughs> and they uh, hung yeah. up. <laughs> they hung up. <laughs> like they okay. had, they got pictures and everything, so they knew I wasn't at fault. So they had pictures of the oven, so they didn't actually need the physical oven. Listen, the damage was there. Listen. Yeah. Listen, Brian. Okay. Yeah. On one hand, funk insurance companies. On the other hand, we don't need to fucking roll yeah. random people at a call center for an insurance company, okay? <laughs> that is unnecessary. God, what? What is the dirty but, part? <laughs> Booker oh, says, but we live in a digital age. Pho photos can be fake. <laughs> Actually, that's the thing. Uh, phone calls can actually be... Uh, AIs can make phone calls now. Yes, we know. It's scary. I don't want to think about it. I did not know that yet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a new tactic that's been being used by scammers to basically grab a whole bunch of sound bites of a person's loved one's voice put it through an AI to get the AI to say stuff in their voice and then use that to scam people. Yeah, so I I actually got one of those phone calls where most likely they were trying to take sound bites of my voice. I, I picked up on that ra rather quickly, so I just kept shouting the word penis over and over for a solid 10 minutes, and then they, they finally got mad and hung up. <laughs> Because I wouldn't answer their questions. Like they, they're like, "Sir, what's your name?" Penis. <laughs> oh 
Of course you do that. <laughs> no I'm one joke saved thing. you. Yeah. That's the funny funny thing is when when uh yeah, one thing that happened to me having the same to this uh uh this VTuber, it had the exact same thing happen. So this I pick up this phone call. This guy uh it says uh hello, do you speak Spanish in Spanish? I I at least know that much. And it says, No, I don't speak Spanish and they hung up. No, I don't speak Spanish. Damn. <laughs> you would think you would put two and two together. I, yeah, it makes my day when people try to scam, scam call me. It, I just love picking them up. And just trolling the fuck out of them. <laughs> now trolling scammers is uh based. Oh, it literally makes my day. <laughs> oh, the ceilings. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, the ceiling. <laughs> While I'm looking at that monstrosity. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, probably by the time we fin uh, finish this, uh, uh, it'll be time for a stream to end. So we can finish this up and then do the next... I'm not sure if this has a next part. We can do, like, the next part tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to ask when you were needing to go. Yeah, we can we can definitely finish this before. Scam the scammers. That's a funny thing you mentioned that, because I actually did that once. <laughs> I didn't get money from them. But basically, they said, oh, yeah, uh, can you um, send me a picture of your credit card and, and I will s send you an Amazon gift card. Yeah, I sent them a picture of my ass crack. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and Are you surprised that she would do that? She, no. She's not the, exactly the woman you would expect in a fancy dress. No, here's She's the, the thing. the woman you would expect in the trailer park. No, here's the funny thing. They responded and said, thank you for sending us this. We'll send you your gift card in two to three business days. They yeah, didn't... so that was that was a bot. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually someone's going to check that and look at that and just see a picture of an ass crap. <laughs> yeah. God, this is becoming incredibly insufferable where the f like how the fuck am I supposed to get all of this dirt these tiny little cracks yup that's a power wash simulator for you why is this a popular game <laughs> I say as I like yeah. I, people... I say as I've been enjoying this, but go ahead. People have been enjoying it for probably the same reason you've been enjoying it. It's fun to talk to people and watch things. The Butt Buddies Podcast. That is an awful idea. If only because there are too many podcasts in the world. But are any of them called the Butt Buddies Podcast? I wouldn't be too surprised. I'm actually looking up that right now. Oh, God. <laughs> the God can't help you with her. The books but... said in my chat or a great idea. No book. But buddies. Oh, podcast. that's where all that dirt is. Oh yeah, it is. It it's a thing. Told you. That's where there was dirt. It's down here. All 
Are you disappointed that it's already a thing, Bright? I'm gonna look at Google Images to see if I can see what they look like. <laughs> Pounded in the butt by my own podcast with Chuck Tingle. <laughs> oh. And there's porn. <laughs> oh, is it a porn podcast? No, it had nothing to do with the podcast. I just saw two men shoving their asses together. Oh. Nice. Oh. I guess that's what happens when you look up butt buggy. Not butt buggy. Butt buddy on the internet. You know what? Butt buggies. I'm going to search up just butt buddies in Google Images. Oh my god. Why? How is there still stuff? On this fucking bobble. There's a Butt Buddies book. The fuck? There is a Butt Buddies book on Amazon. Tyson Anthony what? Collection. Butt Buddies. That's oh probably gosh. a book of porn. Uh, it's a gay black M.M. short story. Yeah. Well, it might not be porn, but... I don't put it know on Thrones, is, this I... book. Books we put it on throne. What'd you say, Jerry? I don't know what M.M. is, but that is probably gay porn. Right, did you say M.N. or M.M.? M.M. Then it's then that's standing for male male. Oh, okay, yeah, that's porn. Well, it might not be porn. It could just be a, a a romance novel with a conspicuous name. It's probably porn. Yeah. <laughs> I love how we're both quiet. You're quiet, and then you're you just admit it. Where's the fucking light? Where is oh, the? Is. Where is the fucking? Wait, bobble. are you on the ball? I'm trying to do this bobble thing. Hatchet, it... the bobble's done. Is it actually done? Yeah, you would see it... white on the bar if it's done if it's not done. But I fucking I I did that once, so that's why I know. Well, I no, I've been working at this thing like myself for a good long while. Like, just occasionally coming back to it and seeing that there's still some dirt on it. Oh, so it was done for me when I did it. <laughs> Might be. Done. Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's done. <laughs> you were just trying to clean a, a clean item. Well, no, there was. No, I was cleaning dirt off of the back of it. Like, just a few seconds ago. Yeah, we're at 93%. We're pretty efficient at this. It's almost as if two hands is better than one. It is better in most cases. Now we just need to get a third person. Well, I'm not going to buy any on Steam until I get a new computer. So. A threesome says book. Where is the fucking... Lantern hook. Why is it... Why is everything <laughs> fucking categorized separately as separate <laughs> items? This is infuriating. Welcome to Power Wash Simulator. What is this? Slay cushioned rim. Oh man, <laughs> I love my slay cushioned rim. It's right next to my fucking, uh, let's see, what what is this? Slay lantern hook attached to my slay lantern. And then it's next to, oh, what's this? The other slay lantern hook that's counted separately than the other slay lantern hook. Yeah. 
I just have two more days of work, then I have a week off. Yay. Uh, which is Wednesday and Thursday. I don't have any overtime this week, but I work Christmas, so I pretty much did overtime. That's one Slay Lantern hook. Where's where's the grime on the other one? Yes, the is ceiling right is complete. All of the ceiling? Yeah, look up. Nice. You're welcome. Still. Why are you pushing me? Cause <laughs> is mine stronger than yours? I don't know. Okay, now please stop. <laughs> Where is Spencer to even be remotely sane? Where is Oh, so now why is it not giving me the dings when I complete something lately? I don't know. Maybe the game doesn't like you. So if you don't like if you notice like the bar doesn't show white on it, uh it's done. <laughs> yeah. So let me see the lamp. Lantern hook? Work stop for it. No, I'm looking at the hook. Play lantern. Play lantern hook. Okay, it's done. Now for the fucking sleigh cushioned rim. My favorite part of my sleigh is my sleigh cushioned rim. I want to ask whoever made this game who hurt them. Who hurt you that you made this game? Maybe they just thought it would be a calming video game. Why is there... Why is... Why is... The sleigh seat... Okay, sleigh cushioned room is done. Where... What do I have to clean on the sleigh seat? It's underneath it. Of course it is. I mean... Do stubby done. I okay, so... Gonna slay... Where... Where is dirt on the sleigh itself? You know, on the bright side, this is probably good practice for actual cleaning. Sometimes when you clean things, you just look at things and go, how the fuck did that get there? What is life? Uh, uh, yeah. That already teaches you uh, how yeah. some people are better at you at cleaning it your, than you are. So you just hire them. All right, so that entire statement was an <laughs> unmitigated disaster. <laughs> You're welcome. It's always good to remember Bryce and unhinged gremlin. Who likes murdering and setting orphanages on fire? What did the orphans ever do to you, huh? They became orphans. Sorry, it sounds so bad. Right? <laughs> That's not the answer. I was gonna think. I was trying to think of something else, and my mind just went to that. <laughs> Turn back around. <laughs> Bookman said, "Wow, they had a tragic event occur in their childhood." This is your punishment. Oh yeah, that's right. A bunch of orphans took my lunch money. That's why I I, I burned their orphanages to the ground. I call bullshit. I'm done with this. This is bad. This is a bad joke. <laughs> oh. Yes. 
see that dirt. Yeah, did Bright you know? gets a free em enema is what Bright's book said. Hey, hey, did you know that uh, on a Minecraft server there's literally a mini game where you steal Christmas gifts from orphans? Damn. And whoever gets the most gifts wins. Damn. Kind of fucked. Especially for the orphans. What the fuck is... Where? Where? Where is this sleigh still dirty? <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> Oh, there's still some on this sleigh lantern hook. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> I've spent so long just fucking trying to get every speck of dirt off of this goddamn sleigh. How do you get a sleigh this dirty? Uh. Bright, don't say what I think. Stop you're talking. Say. I was just that was a rhetorical question. I was just going to say a cold dust orgy, but okay. Yeah. What? Blake <laughs> casually says the most cracked out thing. Like it's fucking also normal. Also happy almost two years. Oh wow, book has been subscribed for almost two years. Damn. Oh yeah, that's actually one question. Did did I uh, offend you anyway if I by calling you a simp bookworm? Cause I never did ask that question. I feel like bookworms the kind of person if you did offend them they would immediately tell you. Not really. Okay. <laughs> bookworm doesn't strike me as the sort of person to bottle their feelings, thoughts. Yeah. Incredibly wrong. Yeah. Time since yeah. actually VC with book. Yeah, even when we were in VC with him, he was pretty much chill. The entire yeah. time. Book is a vibe, you know? Not a vibrator, but definitely a vibe. Depends on the Right. <laughs> Depends on the feelings. That's fair, book. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I can't. Use me as your vibrator, mommy says, book. <laughs> <laughs> it actually made me snort. There are so little things that actually make me snort. You made me snort, book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Congratulations. What you did made me snort. Okay, so someone's gonna. Oh, I see. I still have four viewers. Damn. Welcome in, everybody. I've been getting more viewers lately. I think literally just because, like, two IRL friends have started really focusing on coming to my streams because I actually remember to inform them that I'm streaming. That would help, yes. We don't share too many servers together. Ah. Uh. Tell them to come here. Right, that sounds creepy. Come not, here. Not planning yeah. anything yet. Come here, come here, Witch and Gar. Or the, you want to enter the Bright Domain? Do you want to enter the, the Bright Dungeon? Wait, there's a Bright Dungeon? <laughs> yes, yeah, for all the porn. There's no porn dungeon. Does porn even do anything for you? 
No. <laughs> you go. Like for me, porn both does things for me, and it's kind of a habit for me to collect. What's your excuse? Boredom. A lot of things you could do out of boredom that's not collecting. All right, then I guess I gotta delete uh, my 500 gigabytes porn file. That's fucking. <laughs> rookie numbers. Right, I'm gonna comment that I'm not asexual and I don't own porn. I mean, porn is for fine to own, but why do you have so much? <laughs> that was a joke, Sherry. <laughs> I don't have a I mean, I folder. I mean, I am actually ace. And I get use out of porn. Fair enough. Considering the fact that sexuality, generally speaking, is based upon attraction to actual things rather than fictional things. Yeah, uh, book, Bookworm says that shit out here with their terabytes of porn. Oh, Jay, I just actually typed it as brawn instead of porn. Oh my god. Brawn. Oh, uh, yes. Maybe, maybe you just have a lot of gigabytes of prawn. I probably. I want to say I have at least one and a half terabytes by now, combining both what's on my computer currently and what's in my hard drive. The thing is, you know. oh, wait a minute. I forgot something I did in my past. What? I remember. I remember telling this story. I remember I had like, like, um, a box full of like one terabyte flash drives. That just that were just filled with different degrees of porn. I forgot about that. <laughs> and I think there was at least um a hundred uh, flash drives. So book well, says I thought you said it was only one, and it's probably like somewhere between one and one and a half. It's definitely more than one at this point because I have a good chunk of like oh not book sorry Gar yeah um. That's gone. So to continue with that box, uh, I don't have I'll... any of the flash drives anymore because um, they accidentally got sold off in a yard sale. Oh! oh <laughs> so someone just says Fun. 100 terabytes of porn. <laughs> now one... one I... Wait, 100 terabytes? Yeah, there, there was 100 flash, uh, one terabyte flash drives in the box. Honestly, I'm calling cap on that. Oh, wait a minute. That... Are no. you thinking gigabytes? No, you're right. There was only three one terabytes on there. The rest were 300 gigabytes. I'm sorry. There was yeah, only... even, even then, that's excessive, but it's more believable. I, I thought it was 100 terabytes. I forgot. I, that was when I had... There was a I, I was remembering something else. There was a, a box of one terabyte flash drives that I just put one porn image on it at a, at a workplace that treated people like shit. And those were supposed to be sent out to customers. <laughs> it was my last day there, so I didn't give a shit. And they never found out it was me. <laughs> but also, uh, speaking to Gar to answer your question, well, yeah, kind of question, that I mixed you up with book. Basically, I, I realized when I'm saying that, like, I probably have closer to 1.5 uh, terabytes when you take into account the games that I have on my phone, as well as what I've been gathering since my last, like, taking stock of things. I have zero gigabytes of porn. So, That's valid. So here's the thing. Onto that story about the the box, um, nice. well, there was one terabyte that w uh, there was one flash drive. It wasn't a terabyte; it was a three hundred gigabyte uh, that w wasn't put, given away in the box. It was given to a Catholic priest 
because they're being really shitty to trans people. So I gave them a terabyte of something they saw. It was a huge sin. It was a flash drive of uh, Alabama porn. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I got banned from that church. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. <laughs> right. They uh, played they like this as fuck. Uh, uh, Gar asks Alabama, um, what is something that is stereotypically Alabaman? Uh, when it comes to porn, that means, uh... Stop. Stop, we don't need to... Hold it. We want Gar to figure it out on her own. <laughs> I, I didn't want to assume. <laughs> well, there is a, a, a good joke that's very common that starts with Sweet Home Alabama. Another one, which is, help me, stepbrother, I'm stuck. Oh, but, no. Okay, I, I, but fair enough, Gar. <laughs> exit door. The <laughs> two exit doors are counted separately. Where is the dirt that's on the door still? Oh, it's there by that handle. How fancy. Is there any more dirt? Any more dirt you want to tell me about, game? Where's, where is it? Huh? Edge is slowly losing his mind. Where did the fucking ladder go? Huh? It's over by the, the toy dick. Okay, so there's the top of the frame. Yeah. Okay, switching to mouse for this. Exit door frame done. What? What is? How is there still dirt? On that frame. I don't get it. <laughs> and again, it's supposed to be chill. The second you say 2% left, it went to 1%. Fuck. Where's... Where is... Where... Where's the dirt on this door? Oh, wait. I see it. It's on the hinges. Who designed hinges? Uh, I want to know Dr. their Doctor Hinges. I, I want to know their home address. Oh, there we go. The door is closed. You just needed the the hinges specifically. Now you just need the other door's hinges, I guess. I don't. Unless it's already I, clean, it looks the, spotless. The other. Yeah, it looks spotless, but it says there's still something on it. Uh, oh, you're right. It does have a speck of white there. Did you just back away like, no, no, I can't handle Where is it? So one door is clean and the other door is back somewhere. Isn't it around uh, the door handle? Maybe. Quick Google search. The Romans developed hinges. Fuck the Romans. Well, I think the Romans would have liked that book, uh, Hatchet. Not that kind of fuck. As far as I know, the Romans were okay with anything, just about. As long as you weren't one of those filthy barbarians that didn't speak Latin. Does that mean we would be considered filthy barbarians because Latin's a dead language now? Probably. Although our language is downstream from Latin, so that'd be really hard to gauge. 
What the? Where? Where? Oh, oh the book's going bar, bar, bar in my chat. Where is? Uh, Bright, can you help Hatchet find the last tiny speck of dirt that's showing up somewhere? I'm busy making well, sure I... that would be the last oh. thing we have to look oh. for. Wait, wait. I saw it. Painting cleaned. Oh. That's not the painting. <laughs> that was me. There was, there was a touch of dirt there, and it's gone. And it's still saying that there's more. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? I'm I think fuck. you're being driven mad by the the speck of dirt hiding. Where is this fucking dirt? Wait, no, it's still not done. Where? Yes, yes, it was next to this hinge. Yes. Okay, now. Oh, um, you're done! Congratulations! Okay, sleigh track. Where's their dirt on this sleigh track? There's, there's dirt on the sleigh. On, on the sleigh ski. Who's on the sleigh ski? Hi. Hi, Shima. There's still, there's still dirt on this base. Where's the dirt on the sleigh base? I'm thinking of going what? downstairs. It didn't even... No. Sleigh. Grotto wall paneling. Right. If you say no, it makes me want to go downstairs for Coco more. And do it, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you little shit! <laughs> Here I am watching you two and trying to draw a fucking dresser. Me wondering how many, how many fucking like I forgot what those are called. The little like cup cubby uh, things that desks have. Drawer. <laughs> how many drawers one side should have because the other side. Has one giant drawer like uh, one would if it's like built to hold a computer or some shit. Oh, there it is. There we go. There it is. Get, get gone. Should it have like? Yes. Two? Yes. You have three, four. How do I? Yes. Slate crossbar. Where's slate track? Where Where Should is it on the slate track? Being mocked by tiny specks yes. of dirt. Slate track. Slate track's done. With grotto floor, there's something on the floor. I'm fucking losing my mind. Yes, you are. Welcome to the Hatchet Goes the Fuck Insane stream. There's something on the wall. You can you take care of that wall. I'm gonna take care of this stuff right here. Are you just having Hatchet do the fine work that drives him insane? I did most of the ceiling and the floor. Fair enough. Oh my God! These buttons are counted <laughs> separately. Yes, they are. These, these buttons. Are... Hey Hatchet, mm. you see these lights on the tree? They're each counted separately. You're fucking shitting me. <laughs> they are. They There's are. no way. <laughs> they are. Oh my. Some are clean and some are not. <laughs> what kind of fucking monster <laughs> does this? Who designed this? I want names. I want addresses. Oh my god. My head. There's still something on the fireplace cover? Uh, where? Where on the fireplace cover? Where is it? Where is the dirt? 
Where did the dirt come from? I don't like my brain. Where is the dirt? I don't. Where's. Where is the motherfucking dirt? I don't see no fucking dirt. Where are you Where's looking the... Uh, at the wall? No, I'm looking at the fireplace cover. There's apparently dirt still on the fireplace cover. Oh, I, I think it's like on the very top. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get to it. I still not seeing any yellow pop up though. Got it. It was at the bottom. It was underneath. No, I was shooting at the top too. Oh, I guess it was both. Might have been. Got a wall. So where is shit on this wall? Oh my god, it's behind the fucking flyers. Yeah. I guess you two can solve anything by sandwich. That might be it, Hatchet. I don't... I don't... Why did I agree to do this? Because it's Why fun. Did I... Why did I agree to do this? Two more streams. Well, one more stream. Oh, yeah, there's the... The fucking craft thing. Two likes so free, I don't know. I don't know about that. Because... Oh, God. I'm going insane. Everything is... Everything is awful. Oh my god. Why are every single button... Who? There's who still there? something on the grotto wall, by the way. I, I'm well aware, but I keep getting distracted by the fact that each one of these buttons is counted separately. Is still, is still dirt. The grotto floor still has some dirt. Some of these presents aren't clean. Everything. I hate my life. We love you. Thing is awful. Got the floor. Floor's done. I'm cleaning. I'm... I'm cleaning. I think I'm cleaning. Box. Which box still has dirt on it? It says there's a bunch of dirt on that box. But which box? Is it, oh, it's the whole ass box. Thing. I. Ah. Uh, I got that box. Okay. Okay, wait. There's something else. There's something. I keep ear checker base. What is this? What is checker base? Ear checker base. Base. Ear checker base. Is this object? This object. It is. Then where is the dirt? Where is the more dirt? 
There's dirt under this thing too. On this wall. There's dirt. There's just little flecks of dirt everywhere. All over the place. I like it. The suffering. Go away. Brain leaf. Without suffering. I'm very horrible at drawing death, but I'm actually very happy with this death. Wait, what did you just say? I'm very bad at drawing death, but I... Oh, desks. Very happy. Yeah, death. I thought you said butt. I thought you said chess. Oh my god. There's still some on the ceiling panels. There's... There's... My nightmare's never gonna end right. Oh, god damn it. I read what food put as full as five, but I just noticed after doing five, uh, five drawers that it was four. Finally! Four. Oh my god. That fucking wall's done. Fuck you, wall. <laughs> There's still dirt on this base thing. I don't see where it is. God, yeah. some of the dirt is just invisible. Yeah. Grotto. Grotto wall still isn't clean. Which one? This one. Working on earlier. Oh, it's probably. There's more stuff up there. Oh man. No, oh, boy, do I love dirt. Got it. Flavors. I love dirt so much. I want to marry dirt. Hate my wife. Get married to dirt. I don't. Uh. Now you know uh, how I felt after, after near the end of each power watch simulator map. I don't. I don't. Wait, wanna... is this his first time? Yes. I've yeah. I've literally only cleaned the truck. That's like the introduction to the game. You've never done a oh. full-on map. Yeah. Oh, it's that probably column. a lot easier with a. There, there has to be only one item left. No, I'm still. Okay. Okay, we got a bun the multiples. A bunty. There's stuff on the bottom of that. There's two bunties. And now we see the butt what the fuck is a bunty? I don't know. Notice how all the sheer checker base. And replaced with grunts of yes, pain. Especially the butt buddy that. known simply as Hatchet. Oh, oh those those fucking... The, the... Oh, do you mean the bunting? Those are the weird little flyer thing. Yeah. Uh, we uh, have one check... Oh, we got a, a, a cheer checker base. Chair checker out output slide. Christmas tree lights. There's one messed up. Uh, Christmas tree presents. One that's messed up. Decoration machine buttons. There's one that's messed up. Okay. Got a wall clear. Yay. Decoration machine okay. posters. All three need to be done. What's the decoration machine posters? Oh, of. these things. Yeah, okay. elf hats one needs to be done. Employee door sign that needs to be done. Uh, entrance door hinges. Neither of them are clean. Entrance door hinges. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why did you ask me to play this game with you? <laughs> Fireplace gonk is it needs to be done. Fire 
entire place. <laughs> what is a gonk? I it's don't a... know. It's G O N K. Gonk. What? What the fuck is a gonk? <laughs> Fireplace what? presents. Only nine of fourteen are done. What? What is this? I don't. I a want giant you to die. bobble tops. One needs to be done. Oh. Oh my god. Grotto present one needs to be done. Three grotto skirtings need to be done. Two uh, grotto wall paneling panelings need to be done. One, uh, one grotto wall trims need to be done. One grotto wall needs to be done. Uh, four lanterns need to be done. Where is, Where is the skirt on this fucking thing? One oh, nutcracker hat again. needs to be done. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. One present collection box needs to be done. Uh, what is the present? What is. What are the words you're saying? <laughs> uh, the pro processing machine input curtain needs oh, to be done. Uh, Bookworm said, Is there a gnome on the fireplace? Because I'm only seeing gonk as a synonym for gnome. Oh. There is a gnome on the fireplace. Then that's probably it. Processing machine levers, three of them need to be done, because none of them are clean. Processing... I got the gonk! <laughs> Processing machine quality inspector <laughs> light needs to be done. Santa's chair cushion needs to be done. Oh no! You didn't, you didn't clean the big man's chair? No. Santa's chair holy decoration needs to be done. Holy! Oh, holy. Uh, holy. Santa's office door bow needs to be done. Santa's okay. office door handle needs to be done. I, I don't want to. Sleigh wanna bells need to be done, both of them. What? The sleigh bells? The yes. bells? This bell? I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna like this hatchet. One of the sleigh lantern hooks needs to be done. You're kidding me. There's still. <laughs> this one still needs to be. <laughs> where, where is that dirt? I'm gonna fucking shoot its family. <laughs> the sleigh sack cord needs to be done. What? There's still dirt. <laughs> One of the sleigh skis needs to be done. I don't. Hey, stop. Stop. Stop talking. Just die. <laughs> Just die, Bright. Please. Please. I don't. I... Bright dying won't change what needs done, Phil. It'll mean that I don't have to be in this collab anymore. <laughs> so you only clean when Bryce around? Uh, 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 what? What is a employee door sign? I'm not an employee. <laughs> I'm just, I'm an unpaid intern. I'm doing this for free. I hate capitalism. What the? What is my life? And you would be stuck in there alone. No, I just wouldn't do this. I wouldn't play this game ever again. Oh, come on, Hatch. All you can... need to do is get a third person and it'll be a lot easier. Okay. So. Is, is this... I mean, I could ask the Olympics if they have the game. I mean, I'd, I'd be down. The Olympics seems like a chill person to hang with. Except for the fact that I don't know if I'm ever going to play this game again. I... Uh, I'm not going to lie, like... Ever since it got down to, like, these super nitty-gritty things, I've been, like, in a constant state of nearly having a panic attack. Oh, God. That is what this sounds like. Trying to formulate words while having a moderately notable panic attack. This is what it sounds like. What did I just see? What? There was something... What? Ooh. There's a present there. Fireplace present. Die! Okay. There's another fireplace present. There's dirt on the back of it. I'm gonna kill it. 
I'm gonna shoot the dirt. Fuck you, it's family. Told you I would. I'll feel the dirt's family. I knocked I knocked a couple out. Yeah, I saw that. Let's see, what have I No, no not messages. Details status. Oh you can view the messages if you want to. Oh. Oh god. Toy soldier. Oh. Where's I got your sleigh Where's... bells. Oh, you got uh what are the Where's the toy soldier? Where what toy soldier? There's a toy soldier? Where is it? Log stool? One of these log stools is still completely dirty. How is that I'm, even possible? I'm, I'm going to go downstairs. Okay. Have fun. Good luck not having a panic attack. Right, you're being paid more for this job than Hatchet. Why? <laughs> I think it's because I have more money than Hatchet. That's why Bookworm thinks we're being paid differently. We are being paid exactly the same. Yeah. It's just the fact that I'm a noob. Toy soldier. I'm going to shoot your family. Toy soldier. Huh? I feel like I'm water poorly. The toy soldier. Tell me what your contacts are. Who are you working for, toy soldier? No, you're dead now. Where's the dirt? I, I'm going to kill the dirt. I got to Oh, I'm gonna blast up this toy doll's skirt. I hate myself. I hate my life. Everything is suffering. Got a text on my phone. Got Where's it. Oh my god. Text on my phone. That's the, my phone. My phone is made out of wood. Wait. That's not right. Every. Every night I wake up and I think, what the fuck? Every day I wake up and I think, what the fuck? I don't... I don't... I don't... Where? Where is it? Where is it? Santa's chair, holy... Holy decoration. What holy decoration? What? What is the holy decoration? Is it this? What is the what is the holly decoration? There is no holly. What what decoration? I don't get it. This is underneath. The holly decoration. On of the chair is what I'm looking for. This wait. Oh, I saw it. There. It's one of these fuckers. One of these fucking things. That's the right horse looking thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot his family. Nutcracker hats. One of the nutcrackers hats isn't done. Start. Done. I think this if I were to call, give this series a name and actually make it into a video, it's just Hatchet slowly losing his sanity. The stinking Santa's office door wasn't done. The bow, the bow on the door. I've got a, got a fucking. Oh, Nutcracker, you better tell me where your dirt are. I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the face. I'm gonna shoot you in the face a dozen times. A dozen. There you go. There you go. Nutcracker hat clean. Workshop presents. What are the workshop presents? There's like eight of them. There's a workbench. This workbench isn't clean. But 
Where's the unclean on the workbench? Is is it under? No, I'm gonna find that dirt. And when I do, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna fuck the dirt. Workbench clean. Wait, no, that was a present that I that got clean. There's the bird bench. Bench. Fuck you, workbench. Fuck. Where? There's still dirt on the workbench. Why is it? Where is the dirt on the workbench? Wait, is it under this plane? No. No, oh, I got it. Okay. What's next? What's next? There's still stuff. There's still oh workbench presents. I saw. Oh wait, is it this? What did I see that was white for a second? Wait. Workbench mat. Work workbench mat pen. I'm gonna. Um. Hmm. Oh my god. Stock cabinet. Finally, I got the stock cabinet. That stock cabinet done. Oh. Oh, my bad. Um. Mm. Let me see if I can find the Christmas light. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait. What's that? Step letter? This step letter isn't completely clean. Stop of it. Step letter clean. Oh, oh I yes. found the light. Burn it. Oh, fucking... Where? Where is this? There's gotta be more. Workbench mat. This mat. I'm gonna... There's something mat. there. I saw a yellow right here. There we go. Okay. Good job. I'm gonna fucking... There's more. Where is the more? Uh... Santa's office door handle. 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 The ball. Balls in the... Balls in the door. We still got Where's one, the one bunty left. Wherever the hell that is. No, I don't want to buy Christmas anymore. I don't. I don't think Christmas tree presents. There's a Christmas tree present that isn't clean. Oh, it's this one. Tell me where your dirt is hiding. It is eleven dollars. Eleven dollars in the bag. That was like fifty cents. But I know 50 cents is actually $7. What's the grotto skirting? That's what the grotto skirting is. There's one of the grotto skirting. There's two of them that are. Oh, wait. Got a bunty. Yes. Yes, you must know my. Problem. Okay, the next Let's... one is Cheer Checker yeah. Output Slide. Let's knock what about me. Mmm, still giving. Oh, this one. I, I see you. I see where you're from. I know your name. I see it. I I smile. I'm gonna burn down this whole place. We're gonna clean this place, and I'm gonna burn it down. And it sounds fun. Doesn't it sound fun, Bright? Sure. A little friendly game of fucking arson. I love arson. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking. I'm losing it. This is all. Uh, all of my reasoning, my world is collapsing behind all these presents. The presents are made out of glass. Glass presents. I don't like the glass presents. Glass presents be made out of wood. Like wood, though. Wood beam. Like... Finally, I got it. I like beans. Okay. So let's see. Fireplace Jesus. presents 12 or 14. It's on this side. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck your mom. Jesus Christ, that's it. I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna fuck your mom. I'm gonna fuck your dad. Fuck all of them. Where's the, where's the more stuff? There's more stuff to clean. Wall, grotto wall paneling. Where's the, where, where's the, wait. Where's the paneling? Where's the grotto? There's a grotto wall paneling. It needs clean. Uh, grotto presence six of seven. Grotto skirting eight of ten. Grotto wall paneling is five of six. I've been looking. I've been looking for the grotto. Oh, it's back here. Of course, it's in your area. It's, it's where you cleaned, and there's still stuff. There's still dirt back here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna find it. Even in the face. I'm gonna burn. Oh, fuck. See? The underwear. It smells like bottles. Where is... Where is the dirt on this trim? Who? I... Where is the dirt? Where? Please. Just make yourself known. It'll be easier for both of us if you just come out quietly. Where's the dirt? Where is the dirt? I want the dirt gone. Where's... What the fuck? Why, why can't I have a water bomb? Is there a water bomb? Where is the dirt on the skirting? Where? Where is it? I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die and this skirting is still gonna be dirty. Do I go to hell for it? Bad, bad hell, not good hell, bad hell. Bad person hell. In the skirting right. Skirting. Where's it? Got it. Oh, it's gone. Where's the... Yes, yeah, somewhere on the grotto floor. We got something to clean. Grotto floor? It said grotto floor uh, was... Oh, wait, it just got changed. Shelf. It just changed. Okay. Workbench fabric shelf. What the fuck is Grotto. a fabric shelf? Is the shelf? No, that's the... Dog shelf drawer. No. Oh. Where's the fabric shelf? What is the fabric shelf? Grotto wall paneling. Waters. Elf hats. Where are the elf hats? Nutcracker hats are done. Decoration machine button. There's more buttons? One of these buttons isn't clean. Small grotto wall beams. Just stay. Got it. Fucking hell. The grotto. The grotto wall. There's no There's... lanterns. Dirt. Oh no! Are you handsomely dirt? I'll pay you with water. Want water, dirt? You need water? I got lots of water. Bye. Okay, that dirt's done. Is there another? Is there another one? Nice. What is a workshop present? Got it. One of 
city's presence is done, I will find you. And I will shoot you. In the face. Why? Got it. What the fuck was that? I'm scared of light. I'm scared. I'm scared of all the light. Proce processing machine input. Where's the, where's the, where the elf hats? Where are the elf hats? Workshop presents. Wait, where's the place that cord? I could do that. Where's it? There are two Let's lanterns see. that are messed up. And I'm trying to find them. Ah, oh, there's one. Burn. Got it. There's the one whole, lantern left. The whole of the earth. From fire and ice. Tata. Are you. Is it? What's that? Right there. Oh, but we're here gonna die, dirt. And heal the dirt. I'm gonna shoot all of the dirt. I think I found a last lantern. Yes! Oh my gosh, now we only have three things left. We only have three oh, things left. Okay. okay. Once we finish these, workbench. we'll get, like, a little video of us trying to clean everything. <laughs> what is the workbench fabric shelf? I've been looking for this object. Wait. Wait. I saw white. Where is it? This, this is what a fabric shelf is. I see now. Oh, the error of my ways. I see them clearly. Now, I'm gonna... Okay, elf hats is done. Where is the... Where is the... Where is the dirt on this fabric shelf? Why is this fabric shelf separate from everything else? Oh, it's on the back side. Very clever fabric shelf hiding your dirt behind yourself. I'm gonna fucking kill your family. I know. <gasps> yes. Okay, what else? What else needs? Workshop presence. What's the last workshop present? You see it? Spraying it. Oh, it's this one. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh my gosh. Yes! All right. In three, two, one. You see okay. it? Okay, there we go. I had to press it myself. Okay. Uh, it's done. Oh my. This place. I don't like my life. Zoom job. Oh, wait. Resume job? I don't want to resume this. Oh, wait. Oh, there's no other stuff. Th this was it. This was it. The Christmas thing. That's it. Done. Yeah, that was just one. I got 500. I'm, I'm missing a touch of money because apparently you finished cleaning some stuff while I was out. But I don't care. Let me purchase things. Yeah, I, I can restart Midgard. So uh, for tomorrow, we'll do Midgard. Oh, I mean, we could just do my Midgard. I don't, I don't want to, I want to die. Yeah, just Is death an option? Can I be trying to, well, what, what the, the earth is dead. I've lost myself <laughs> behind my eyes. My eyes are made out of blue. <laughs> Stars. How oh, do we get stars? Olympics is streaming. I'll, I'll, I'll raid Olympics. How do we do stars? What? How do you get stars? I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you've been playing this game. How do you not know these things? I just collect the money. I don't pay attention to that. But like the stars are like a part of the progression. Oh, that I think that means as long as you complete further and further on. But I had five stars when I started this. 
Maybe we just completed that. Does it have to be my stuff? Maybe. If that's the case, I'm gonna light this house on fire. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, okay, wait, uh, what's... What's Elisic's channel name? Uh, A... See, Cloud um... Error. Raid... Okay, I gotta change the channel. Uh... Okay, uh, A. I. I. L. L. I. I. T. T. H. H. I. I. X. X. Okay. Um. Are you starting your raid? Or? I'm about to, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we gotta choose our raiding words, though. Um, raid words for both raids must be... Uh, let me write something out. Must... send this to you in DMs. The the raid words the raid words will be the mer the dirt must die, I will kill the families of the dirt, please oh gods why. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, everyone. That's... Oh, my God. That played longer than I thought. There. In three... Two... Oh, shit. I accidentally exited it out. There. I'm an idiot. Yes. Three... Two, one.